Alrighty then. Yay. Okay, there's my fusion window. Let's go over here. Let's open that up. Get the pop-out window up and running. So I can see chat. Oh, gotta turn the sound off. Mute. Come on. Okay, where's my chat? Here it is. Pop out window. Then I can get rid of this window because I don't need it anymore. Get rid of that window. Stuff this down there and open up my fusion window, which is the one I actually want to see. Bring the chat window over here. Not that you guys can see what I'm doing because all you can see is the fusion window. Getting it off to the side, so it's out of my way, but I can still see it. And then stretch it out. And let's build a vase. First thing I'm going to do is just go right into this. And I'm going to build something a little different. I don't know what yet. But, uh, let's use a polygon. Although, it seems to have a hard time doing polygons. And filling the bottoms in. And I'm going to go with an eight sided. And I'm going to go 35. That looks good. Now, if I select this and I go modify, what's up, Minnesota? Um, great extrude. I'll extrude up. Give it, I don't know, like 10 front faces. Now subdivide it into 10 little groups. You know what? Cancel that. Cancel. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to do it with lofting. Bring this up like 50. I'm going to go here and draw a circle on top. Make it a little bit bigger so it lost from a hex to a circle and then I'll do another construction surface off of this and go another 50 50 turn and then let's go to say Uh, let's go back to a polygon, but we'll go to like, what do we want? Do like smaller, but then to have, let's go to 16 faces. So it really freaks it out. How does that sound? But it gives it some really cool sharp edges when we loft it. And then one more, we'll loft it off of this and go up another 50. 50. And then we'll draw a... What do we want? What do we want? What's up? What do we want? Let's make an ellipse. We'll go from here to there. Oh, that isn't how it goes. Escape. Let's try that again. Modify. Uh, yeah, now over here, sketch. Ellipse. Do it from the center. Let's see, I want a little bit wider than that. I want it to flare out at the end. I don't like that. Oh, I've got my four base planes so escape if i go over here to modify create loft actually i don't want it because this is still selected stop sketch i don't want that selected anymore i don't know why it 
projected that on there, but I don't care. That ain't gonna matter. Loft. We'll start from there, go to there, then go to there, then go to there. Isn't that a bizarre shape? Is that kind of bizarre or what? But I think I want to make this one a little smaller. Cancel. So if I go back to this, I mentioned that. Or I really can't because it's not recording the timeline like a dumbass. Well, that's going to do Z. 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 I want to do that eight sided. It's not recording the timeline. It never records the timeline in here. It's kind of obnoxious. Um, I like my timeline. Polygon. Conference polygon. I want to make it a lot smaller. Tab. Go to 16 sides. Do we though? I'm going to fail to 6. So it goes from the 8 to the circle to the 6. That might be fun. Sketch. Drag this up. 50. Turn. Draw an ellipse on there. I kind of like that ellipse top. That was kind of cool. Go halfway in between these. Pull it out so it's kind of like the mouse with a vase. Stop trying to lock on. Hold the command key so it won't lock on. Go about like that. Try that again. Escape. Stop sketch. Stop sketch, I said. Okay, create loft. It's hard to follow when we can't see the pop up menus. It should be showing you the pop up menus. That's very annoying. Okay. Um, I will make it so you can see my whole desktop. Stop. Entire screen. Share. Make this go away. Now you can see the pop-ups, right? I don't know why it's not recording the pop-ups. Everyone else, it records them all. It's a whole application it's supposed to be doing, not just the main window. But anyway, you should be able to see it now, correct? All right. So anyways, I drew some circles and squares and hexagons and did some stuff. And now I'm going to loft it. Create. Oh, I already got the loft selected. Loft to that, from that, to that, to that, to that. And it made a base. Isn't that pretty cool? Okay. Twitch Paw Paw Prince just went live. That bastard. So I'm going to take this one. Oh, it's not going to let me in it. Actually, I think I can go like this, can't I? I should select everything around there. But it selects everything. That's not what I want either. I just want that. Does it go all the way around? No, of course not. Whatever I could have done this beforehand. I want to select this whole thing here. And there, I know there's an easier way, and I just can't think of it. I want to select that. Stop trying to select that. I want to select this one line. All right. Modify. And then I just want to twist it a little. Oh. Let's do the twist. Okay. 
Okay, that worked. But then I want to do this one. Why is it selecting those? I want to select that line. How about this line? Oh, we're getting the watch pop on print, screw something up now. Actually, he's getting the hang of fusion rather quickly. He'll probably be better than me at it in a couple of months. All right, there's that. Let's move that. Rotate it this way just to here. That should make that kind of flowy. This one, and this one, and this one, and this one, and this one. Burp. Twitch sucks. Yeah, I'm not liking Twitch. He wants to go over there because I think he wants to make money and I think they pay out faster and easier than YouTube. Personally, I don't care. I wouldn't mind making some money off of all this, but it's not really my goal. I want to do that or go this way. I want to go this way. What do you think? I like that. It's a nice S cornery. It's almost a little too much here. Count the burps. Sure, I don't know why, but you can count burps all day long if you so desire. Do I want to move that one or do I want to move this one? Actually, I think I want to go all the way to the top. I can make this a nice flowy. Nice flowy thing. So I just rotate it this way just a hair. Maybe even more. I get a nice. Eh, it's a little too much, huh? Maybe if I go the other way with it. And of course, they put the readout in front of it. Now that looks stupid, too. Stop putting the degrees in the middle of what I'm trying to view. That's the one thing I hate about Fusion, is it puts those stupid little windows in right where you're trying to work. It's kind of semi flowy, zigzaggy, whirly, swirly, huh? It's different. I want this to keep swirling too, so I want to do this bottom. Shift. Shift, double click the lines, double click, double click, double click, double click, and I have that whole circumference, yes, and then I can push this this way just a hair to smooth that out, that's not terrible, this almost looks too much, but I don't hate it, it's different, it's swirly, whirly. I want to do this one again. There should be a way to group these, but I'm not sure how. Actually, I think I know how, but it almost takes longer to do all that than it is to just do this. Why 
we're going to select a line at the dot. That one. I want to shrink it in this way a little. Maybe out. No, it's only in. It's like really different. I'm not sure I like that face, but this doesn't look too bad. It's a little too wavy, but I don't hate it. That just kind of straightens it all out so it loses all its wave. And that looks wrong going that direction. I'm going to leave it like that. Now, the question is, can I close this? Okay. I don't want that. I don't want that. I just want that there. the sketch and will it let me close it without being a problem for some reason every time I close those fill hole it increases it doesn't like to reduce star how about a fill star how about a collapse See why I want to do it. I don't know why it doesn't do it. it. Makes no sense to me. I don't get why it. The kids need to get outside and get a life. Yes, they do. I concur on that one, one hundred percent. I think I can slice this, though, where it's hollow, and it'll automatically put a bottom as long as I tell it to put a bottom on in the slicer. I mean, is that for what? Failure to get the kids outside? It's 7 o'clock. I'm wondering if I just finish form. And I export this weird wavy thing. The more I'm looking at it, the weirder it is. Oh, face, yeah. Oh, there's all these bodies. That's why. Oh, I gotta stitch them all together. That's why. That's a real pain in my farce. I don't know why it does that. Why can't it just make it all one? Very annoying. Um... Merge edge. This. Which I end up. And then if I click in the same place, it has enough sense. Anything increases, hit OK. Did it make it one? Do I have less bodies? I have a two and a three. Yes, it did. It is cold outside, but get over it. Well, there's, which is probably why it wouldn't let me do it. This is body two, and that's body nine. That's body three. Where's body one? I don't know. Modify. Merge edge. There's eight selected there. There's eight selected there. Okay. 
One of my bodies disappeared, correct? Yep, number three went away. So modify merge edges. That one. Basically click the same one because there's actually two edges there. Okay, what body went away? Hard five. Merge edges. This is kind of a weird thing, but there's no edge there anymore. There's no edge there anymore. But there's an edge there. Means there's also an edge there. Okay. Modify merge edges. I don't talk like that to me, man. Go get your own stream to chat. Oh, wait, this is your own chat. I'm not sure what the hell you're talking about there, buddy, but anyone want to jump into the chat? Um, where's my window for the chat? Google Hangouts. That one. Oh, it won't let me. Uh, oh, here it is. Stop that. Copy. Close. Go away. You want to jump into the chat? Or the hangout, I should say. There's the hangout. And where the hell am I? That doesn't have an edge anymore, so it's got to be this one. This one. Okay. Did I lose a body? Yes, I did. That still has an edge. Where it edges. This one. And this one. Okay. I'm only down to two bodies now. So there should be only one more edge. Well, two more edges. This one. Select this one and this one. Okay. So I'm down to one body. So there actually should only be one more edge left. Modify, merge edge. This one. And this one. No, it should be still one body, but it's manifold. I wonder if I can close it now. Yeah, I figured you were just goofing around. Come goof around in the chat and join. Have some fun. Modify. Where's my fill hole right here? Select P spline. Cancel. I want to select all of these first. It should, and it did, select a whole circle. Oh, you know what? I bet I can edit these much better now. Yes, I can. How sweet is that? I should have done the crease merge edges from the beginning. Then I can do a circle select. Because now I can do the modify without going around selecting all those stupid things and I can have much more control over it. Make it much more darn you. Like that. Smooth it out a bit. That's not so weird. Look no. like that. That looks a whole lot better. Let's go up to here. Change this this way here. Come on. Let's see if I want to go this way with it, smooth it out, or do I want to make it more of a nice corner? I think I want to straighten this one out. Just a little bit.
Okay then. Now, select all of these, which is why it wouldn't close it. And I'm going to modify, fill hole. It should actually fill the hole now. And it did. Keep decreased edges. Um, I don't know if that'll work or not. Fill star. Kind of freaking out for some reason. Please don't quit on me. Okay. Let's see if it'll let me finish form or if it's going to tell me there's some kind of overlapping something. It's going to tell me there's an overlapping something. Which makes no sense. Yeah. I had a feeling that was going to happen. Command Z. Command Z. Um, what if I fill hole? What do you think about getting all 12 VOIP phone and set up with a box setup and get it ready as a hot stand steady for what they pull the plug on the old system? Oh, you guys are talking about some phone system crap collapse. Weld center vertices. Okay. Finish form. Come on, work, baby. You need to work. You need to export out. You need to be freaking awesome. Awesome, I say. Be awesome, I say. Come on, you can do it. Little Mr. Computer, I know you can. And there's no errors. What do you know about that? Look at that baby. Isn't that bizarrely weird? I think it is. Let's pull a construction plane off of here. face it's kind of flat to one of these three planes. Yeah, who cares? Let's go 75. 75. Oh, where'd it go? Oh, went to the other side. That's fine. Start as whoops, start a sketch. Go to text. That's right. Why is it? Escape. Don't want it. Don't want it tied into anything. Text. No tying to anything, please. There we go. Let's do. Uh, hey, let's just do 2019. Hold it out. Spin it around. Something like that. Make it a little bit bigger, like 30. Um, compared to the aerial, make it something different, like Comic Sans. Nah, that's too boring. First thing I read, devote my time to cameras. What kind of cameras? Uh, three phone systems, making sure. Whoa. This is me, what you guys are talking about, but that's all right. Chalk Duster. That's a little rough on the edges. Chalkboard. SE, whatever that means. Brush script. Oh, why not? That's a little heavy on the detail, but it might be cool. And I want to make it just a little bit smaller. Let's go with 25. It fits on that little squirrely gig right there. Okay. Let's take that. Let's create a thingy. Let's tell it to do it from object. From that. 
and just do a half a millimeter. Wait, five. What are you going to do? Is it going to freak out? What's up, John? Hey, what's up, man? Oh. I cannot hear you one single bit. You can't hear me? There you go. That's a little better. Oh, I might have the mic because I got the mic way far oh, away. You have a... Yeah, better. I don't want to know. Uh, you need to uh, mute uh, your uh, uh, distance. You too. You, you got your something going on. I can hear background noise. That's it. I thought that was you. Hang on, I'm not getting in. Do I have you going on? You got something. Yeah, let me move this. I might not. Is that how far? Yep. <laughs> yeah, I did it. I do not yeah. want any offset. I said yeah, zero. Okay. Zero okay. offset. Boy, boy. What was that going on here today? I want to say join here. Spinning the wheels. Yeah. Ooh. Join. Glad I was sick this morning. What a freaking bed fest that was, huh? What? Don, holy crap, he was begging for money today. And he got it. Okay. Every time I went in there, that's all I heard him doing. And then I heard he got it. I was like, holy shit. What was he doing? I didn't even. He was begging for money all day. Oh. And he got it. I didn't even notice if he was. Oh, man. Like, well, didn't you hear him? Um... <laughs> it was funny, though. Um... So there's my very odd 2019 vase. What do you think? Is it awesome? That's awesome. It's different. It's it? different. Martin. Martin's like, yeah, I got sick of listening to your wine. He's like, check here, buy me a coffee. He's like, holy moly, does it? He's like, well, I was sick of hearing you whine about it all day. <laughs> I was like, yeah, no shit. Gonna... Uh oh, I got a whole bunch of bodies. That's not good. I need to weld all these bodies. Shit. Assembly, create, combine, modify, combine. Is it going to combine them? How you doing, John? Select two Jay. Oh, come on. It's not going to let me select this, this thing. Bark, 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 bark. That shit. I think it was in there. No, Jake was in um, You know what? I know a lot. for dollars. Yeah, Mr. Butcher was in here. Save as STL. Find the rest of the ends, yeah. So that's so much. That's cool, cool. I felt like crap this morning. Oh. 2019 vase on the desktop. Let's see how the slicer handles it. Okay, I told you to save it. What's the problem here? Why is this thing all of a sudden freaking out like unbelievably slow? <laughs> I mean, even for my Mac, it's being unbelievable. Oh, that's right. I showed up. I forgot about that. I screwed you up when I showed up. Yeah. Yeah. It's just yeah, really picking out. Save. 2019 base. Let's put it in the vases, though, because I have a whole folder of just vases. Oh, it's not here? Oh, oh well. Hey, what's there? I've seen them way up there earlier. I can tell it to go to oh, the drama corner. What? Mr. Buttroom is here. He was here. I don't know. Maybe yeah, I don't know. That's what I was saying. He was up there. Might have had to leave or something. I don't know. Desktop. 2019 base STL. I'm working on a stupid thing. Oh, freaking day myself. I'm working on something. Quit that. I don't need My, yeah, my so whole big. system is just dogging, even for this Mac, for some reason. Um, I don't 
think it has anything to do with the man. Warning, warning. There is 2,600 edges. Well, you know what? Fix that for me. <laughs> That's what I love about Idea Maker. Everybody's ill. I've been sick all week. It's about the best I felt yet. My stomach still is really. Yeah. Yeah, no, me, I was drinking pizza and migraine. Nope, Idea Maker does not use a lot of CPU. It actually uses quite a bit less than Cura, and it fixed the model. Look at that. Which is nothing Cura or Simplify 3D can do very well. They both do it, just not as well. Idea Maker makes it, does a very nice job. The other thing is, if you don't even want to select an idea maker, you don't have to, because you can actually export that fixed SPL out. You can just go up here and say, save file, save idea file, or uh, somewhere around here, it's export. You can export the model out after you've repaired it. But I'm going to go into Sparrowized. Yes. I want to do infill. I want to do, I think I want to do four bottom layers. Four. Actually, let's make it pretty thick. Six. Yeah, five. Four or five is plenty. Point two layer height. Shells one. I actually want to do three shells. Now you're going to say, oh, it's going to make it three spirals. Nope. It just does, only does it in the bottom layer. Zero top lines, 45s. I probably should do concentric. Let's do concentric. I wish it would just do one layer in concentric and then do the rest of them. Idea maker, you can, or uh, carry, you can make the bottom layer, the very bottom layer concentric, and then it'll go back to doing lines. Well, let's do concentric. Cooling. That's fine. Actually, I don't. Yeah. Temperature. 16 and 15. What do I have on there? Do I have the PEI? Yes, I do. Which I should fire this up now and get it start warming because otherwise it'll take an hour. Okay. Uh, let's see. Mark, you fucking Okay, cooling. Um, remove fan point layer. Two fan speed 65 because it won't run at 55. Flip it. Fan speed threshold 55. Actually, it's right at 60. I don't know. Yeah, that's good. So we do this. Yeah, 65. Fine. Ten point. Set the layer four. Bring it up to one hundred percent. One hundred and ten point. Split fan speed if the speed will increase from a low speed. The low speed is not greater than a specific threshold. What? I want to blip it no matter what. That's fine. Lose control, cool platform. Who's getting feedback? I'm listening to someone else's sound. I'm not. I have no noise here. Huh? I have no noise here. I don't have nothing playing. Why am I hearing? Like I'm hearing someone a chat and beeps. Don't you hear it? Oh, you can hear that. Yeah. Hey, it will be guys. I hear you. It's yeah. something like you're playing a video. Man, my daughter's on the living room. Candy, where are you sitting? What? Where are you sitting at? Oh, that's blasting right into the microphone. 
So turn your flip your phone over so it points that way. Rotate your phone. There you go. Turn the speaker point right towards Three the hours side. and eight minutes. I'm still do that fast. That's too long. I can print that faster. I know I can. And it advanced. What's my default speed? That's hey, fine. Sorry, right now, let's yeah, bring yeah, it up to like 40. Yeah, 30. Speed 75. Inertial over 75 with this thing. Okay. Statement close. Slice. Yes. What I'm still hearing like major feedback from something, dude. And it's not it's not our feedback. I'm hearing like beeps and chirps. I'm gonna shut my mic off and let me know if it goes away. I can hear your chair creaking. Well, you shouldn't be able to do my freaking microphones off. No, it's not. <laughs> yes, it is. No, it isn't, because I'm hearing you talk. <laughs> How about now? Is it off now? No. Okay. I'm not using this mic then. Yeah, you're there using the wrong, the wrong mic. Well, no, I ain't. The computer is. Yeah, well, that's what I mean. Yeah. Stupid computer. Anyway. Stupid computer. Yeah. I was like, man, I, I hadn't plugged my mic. You can't hear that. Uh, I can hear it. <laughs> no way. That's why you're going through the wrong mic. Yeah. Well, excuse me, mic off my camera. Not, yes, I did. There's my duet firing up. Let's get the heater on. Let's get this up to 16. Let's start preheating already. Let's get this up to 16. Is that better? Yes. <laughs> I, can I, can my still, I can still hear it. It's nowhere near as bad, though. You can still hear that? Yeah. Oh, I can't see it. it sounds like a YouTube video playing in the background. Now you can't. Yes, I can. Something just went chirp. Well, I, well maybe the thing. Why don't you go in mom's room and your bedroom and play with that damn thing? Let me see if I can hide this behind there. I'll hide it behind the TV and maybe that'll help. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Where'd my thing go? Now it's gone. I I hid my mic behind the TV. <laughs> you hid your mic behind the TV. I did. Code. Open. Upload. Out and out there. Tap the webcam on your printer and see if the printer mic is on. Huh? You're talking to me? Well, I'm just reading the chat. Oh, I'm sorry. Your computer made you do it. Oh, Dude, I can still hear crap in the background. Well, you got to be hearing this one right here, right? You can hear that? Can you hear that? Yeah. I can hear somebody yeah, talking. My finger's scraping on my goddamn microphone. I have no idea why that thing's so, be so sensitive today. I got everything turned down. You can hardly be able to freaking hear me. Um, Where's my... Well, that too, but they can still hear the damn phone. Why wouldn't they be yelling? I know. That's it's, all you're good at. It, it's showing your mic key in, too. When I hear it. Pick it up. It's still hitting that damn mic. That's your mic right there, whatever yeah, you're no, grabbing. It's hitting the wrong mic still. The freaking hell. Hello. Why is it not doing this? That's that one. Okay. That's that one. So well, you usually don't have any feedback. I know. But I mean I've got it onto this. Well, maybe if I turn this mic on, maybe that would make it so it hits it. That um, would help. Yeah, remember I shut the mic off and that's why I didn't want to stay that way. Yeah. Everyone, there's just two of us. <laughs> I'm not paying attention. To uh, it was just, it was like bizarre. It was, it was squealy, squeechy background noise. Why is everyone yelling? Cause we can. 
Because we want to. Oh, I gotta convert this printer over. Well, I shouldn't have nothing. All my OBS crap is muted, man. I have nothing in OBS. I don't use my OBS at all for sound. I don't well, know why it does getting, but... getting sound right now. So if you have everything off, you don't have everything off because I can still hear you. Well, no, I turned my microphone back on, so that shut off the other microphone. That's why I kept on going back to the, the camera microphone. That's because I had my microphone shut off. Sure. Yeah, should be better now. Okay. Where the you probably have an OBS mic on that you don't know about. Yeah, I only have one mic, and it's this one now. You got Bud Light? I wonder how this uh, is going. I'm having issues. Well, you guys let me get all that money back. You must have made 100 bucks today, ain't it? <laughs> I'm all crap myself. I'm like, whatever. I'm done. Dude, I'm, you're still getting like beeps and chirps and burps in the background. I know. It's nowhere, know, nowhere near as bad, but you're still picking up something. Yeah, that mic's making noise. <laughs> that mic came to make noise, I'm man. Telling you, that mic's making noise. I know, but it's not supposed to. I understand that. Why don't you just unplug that mic for a minute? I can shut that camera off and it should kill the mic, right? Yeah, for temporary. Right? Did that work? No. Let me see. Nope. It's gone. Yeah, it's still working. Right. You see my mess here? I'm going to get it back. I like to see. Yeah, it's getting a weird beep. I don't know what the hell that beep is. That's my like daughter's a... freaking game she's playing. No. Uh, it sounds like a smoke alarm when it needs a battery. Okay, whatever you did seemed to have fixed it, but now I can't hear you at all. <laughs> yeah, Jake. Ah. Yeah. Now you can hear this mic. Can you, are you I, I can hear you, but you're way, 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 way quiet now. I know because I just turned my freaking mic down because you said I was bad feeding, and it's like I'm not bad. Oh my God, Jesus. Get over it. Damn it. <laughs> all, right, all right, can I you get back to what I was doing now? now. I stopped in there just to say, hey, you know, I've been working on something here. Man, it's been bugging the shit out of me. I've printed it three times now. Hey, my little printer's done printing. Anyways, how are you guys doing? Now we got that. Freaking smash up until you got here. <laughs> I know, eh? Okay, this one was standing up. I can so have right on it. Stand. Stand. So I made four new sticks today. Sticks of what? <laughs> Water? No, no, these are my my rib rib testing strips. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. okay. I broke them the other day, and uh, I wasn't really paying attention to the the scale of the camera, and um, I guess the scale froze because it never registered. It would just read the same thing no matter how much pressure no, I put on it. No. 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 That damn dogs in the neighborhood trying to run in the house. Good dog. It's a nice thing wants to visit, man. What's wrong with that? Yeah, lots of visit around her neck. And then I got to deal with the freaking dead dog again. And I get in trouble for something I didn't right. freaking do. You're print now. Anyways, I'm print now. once again. What the hell is that, like, gray block in your screen? That gray block? That yeah. That was the camera that I took out. Oh, I got you. But I didn't transfer. I got to transfer it. Is that better? Yeah, there you go. It just faded away. Yeah, I know. Faded away. I'm going to point mine more at that printer. Not that much. There we go. And the little llama has it going round and round and round. Hey, can you guys like yell some more for me, please? 
why don't you sh quit your goddamn whining? Pull up to you. Real swell. Jesus Christ. I, mean, I can't believe it. I live in a house now and I can't even sit in a room without some peace and quiet. That's when you shut the door. Don't you have a door? Well, I don't need to shut the door. It's my freaking place. You know, they can shut the hell up. I still shut the door. I, I don't care. The they can shut the frick up. They don't have to let the neighbors know every move they're making. <laughs> yeah, they do. And all these walls are a quarter inch thick. Oh, crap. Okay, is that not sticking to my I haven't done this all freaking day. I don't know. Call a freaking pound on the mud. I think I need to lower that. Make some friends around here. These freaking dog hauled up to the freaking pound. Right off. Cancel. PEI does just do not hold very well. I don't care. <laughs> What is going on? What <laughs> He just wants to be a friend. Listen, kick that dog in the head or something. Fuck that. <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ! It's yeah. more dog than call the fucking. Po oh, excuse me, I'm cussing in front of the sailor. Yeah, I'm all right. I don't care. Call the freaking pound. I will. Except for when he bites your dog's head off, then I gotta listen to you guys whine about it. You know, PI is great, but it's I just cannot get a, a consistent adherence to it. Sometimes it sticks beautifully, sometimes it don't. So I'm going back to blue tape. <laughs> blue tape just works. I you know, I keep doing that. I keep finding a new one. I'm like, oh, this is great. I did glass for a while. Oh, that was great. Did the flex plates and the and they all sort of work, but nothing is as consistent or as good as good old fashioned blue tape. Blue tape just works every time. Unless you're like real high. And even, I can't even say real low. Because even when you're real low, it still works. And then the dog that's a problem. It's the owners of the dog that's a problem. That's the damn thing run free. Yep. You know? Exactly. In a freaking mobile home park, man. It's ain't a dog sanctuary. And really, I don't think you were supposed to have mutts in this place. Don't you have a mutt? I don't care. I don't like this stupid dog. <laughs> All I do is get yelled at for the damn thing anyways. Freaking mutt. Y'all are a bunch of freaking mutts. I'd rather have a cat over a dog any day. Oh, yeah. Me too. And I don't have any problems with dogs. I like dogs. I just don't want to I own don't. them. They're a pain in the butt. I mean, I like them, I guess, but they're just, yeah, pain in the butt. Major pain in the butt. And the other thing is, if I'm going to have a dog, I want a real dog. Everyone's got these little freaking... Well, you know, really... Dog I'm, first month. I'm, I'm kind of fine with the size of the dog. I mean, we've always had big dogs, you know, labs and stuff like that. Yeah. We've had a pit bull and basically labs is what we've had. And I've had coon yeah. hounds and all that shit, you know. Labs and golden retrievers and that kind of yeah. thing. I'm just Go done on. with big dogs. I'm getting too old to be picking up the big landmines, man. Yeah, there's that. And that's the other thing about cats. They're they're a little more clean. <laughs> yeah. Don't sit there to lick their nuts all day and then come lick you in the face. Well, they, they do. Well, no, they don't. Don't lick it all day and then lick you in the face. Very few cats come and lick you in the face. They don't slobber all over. No, I don't. I much prefer a cat over a dog myself. Mm -hmm. 
And they're no, just quiet. Right, they're right quiet. There. They don't get into st- I mean, I shouldn't say they don't get into stuff. They still get into stuff, but they're just quiet. You know what I mean? They like, no, my cat them. likes to spoon. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing wrong with that. And that's the other thing, you know, they're comfortable and soft and, pet, you know, dogs no. are. Oh, no, I'm looking for early. a cat, man. I want a new cat. I lost my cat when we moved out of the house. They, they freaked out, man. And took off. We don't know where it went in the heat pipes or where the hell it went. But it's gone, gone, gone. It went home, home, home. <laughs> ring of burning, ring of fire, right? Probably sitting at your old house. It's probably it's sitting in a duck were dead. You know? Yeah, Oops, cats. Somebody's been like in the wheel on Perfect Studios. Cats will quickly, you know, adapt. Yeah. Unless another critter eats it. They, they usually survive pretty well. And my daughter is such an animal lover. She gets so mad at me when I say shit like that, you know? <laughs> he gets mad, yeah, Daddy. That's a good dog. Good dog's a dead dog. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I like dogs. I just like someone else to own them. <laughs> yeah, there you go. I don't want to have to care for it. Ah, there you go. And I, that's fine with me. Them guys have that little rat dog, but I get stuck with it all the time. You know? Yeah, I don't like little rat dogs. They leave for the weekend and leave the mutt with me. All they do is yelp. Yeah. Tomorrow's live stream. Who wants to shoot a dog? Shoot a dog? Oh. No. Who wants to watch my daughter kill me? <laughs> I'm over it. Oh, I guess yeah. It's just man, it's driving me batshit crazy. Dude, can we have it on video? Can I record it? <laughs> yeah. I shot one on day. Out at the farm, freaking uncle. He rented this house to these people and uh, had a beagle. It was always running deer. And uh, I mean, I was young, maybe 12 years old, 13 years old. And uh, it's like, man, I'm going to shoot that damn dog. So I got up one morning. There was nobody home. Grandma was upstairs, but she's deaf as a rock. Rolling for coyote. That's a good yeah. one. And uh, she, she couldn't hear uh, she Bill couldn't hear nothing. She couldn't hear nothing. So that dog come running up behind the house, man. I kicked that bad door open with a twelve gauge shotgun and blew that son of a bitch away. Went out to the Did bar you? and I said, "What do I do with this damn dog?" He's like, "What do you mean?" I said, "I got that goddamn beagle you wanted done." She's dead now. He's like, oh, my God. <laughs> Started breaking out. Do you ever watch Beer, uh, Bill Ingvall? Yeah. He does a whole skit on the dogs, and he's, you know, his wife made him get a little one, and he had the big one. And he talks about the wolf broke through his fence. Yeah. And he's going after the little dog, you know, and then the big dog just takes the wolf right out. <laughs> and he's like. Does this Probably little skit about is, does this little skit about the wolf sitting up on the on the mountain, you know, looking down at their property and going, "Yeah, that little dog, that's just a trap." <laughs> you go after that little dog, the big dog comes and eats you. <laughs> uh. Uh, it's probably not a good idea, Jake, but it's his stream, so I don't care. <laughs> yeah, I'm. Uh, I'll just delete it if it becomes a problem. I don't care. Uh. I only, I only do this. Nobody to... knows if you're talking shit or not, anyway. So, which yeah, not. they have to actually. Well, if someone bitches about it, which they might, if they don't, you know, if they're dog lovers, yeah. they well, don't they understand. Bitch about being... What can they do about it? I mean, this is forty years ago, you know, Whatever. thirty-five years ago, if it even happened. What's the matter, Lacey? No, Doug said, "Don't wait at my door. Wants to come to frick in here." Heard us talking about it. I'm a dog. You're talking about dogs. Let me in. Yeah. Didn't realize we were talking about shooting it. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you and everything now. Oh, shit. I ain't get that. I don't know how I can deal with that, I think. Hey. Poor little puppies. I, li- I like Poor dogs. Poor little puppy. Bang! No, I actually like dogs. I don't. I have no. I just don't. The, the little rat dogs. Like just, mine? 
Or my know. wife's, I should say. My wife's I don't even mind them when they're quiet. It's just that constant yelping some of them do. Only she things. don't yelp, really, you know. So, I mean, that's the only good thing about her. Yeah. Well, what, what is she? Boston Terrier. Oh, that's not. I mean, that's a little dog, but it's them little chihuahuas that ain't freaking a foot long. Them things are obnoxious. No, the chihuahua's bigger than this damn thing. I mean, did you see her sitting here on my desk? It's only this dog. Yeah. All we got is a your picture of your printer. It's the only camera you have on. Well, you, well yeah, that's right. This camera ain't working right now, and I ain't messing with it. I'll fix no, it in the morning. We don't need to see the little dog. Yeah. Well, I mean, you've seen him on the stream before. He sat her, or she yeah. sat her on the freaking stream. You know. yeah, not that I remember, but yeah, sure. Anyway, my boss yeah, had squawls, dude. Eight of them. Eight. Every time you walk in the house, they're like, rah, 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 and they just don't stop, you know? Mm -hmm. Most times they come bark, 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 and they come up and they see you, and they, you know, they stop. Piss on your leg and they're good, right? Them things just keep running around the house. You pet them, they jump on you, and they're still barking, and then they run away, and they're still barking, and they just keep barking, and they never shut the hell up. <laughs> Honestly, I think it's just because he had so many, you know, one starts and then the next one and then and it just never stops because they always hear the other one barking. So they just never stop barking. Yeah. There's a couple of them he had I actually liked. There was a little puppy. I almost took it. If I had a place to keep it, not in this house, I probably would have taken it because it was actually kind of a it wasn't really a chihuahua. It was like a mixed breed. Somebody, some puppy screwed another puppy, screwed another puppy, mixed breed. But it was, you know, yeah, and he ended up with a beautiful little rat dog. Yeah, but it was a nice dog, you know. The other thing is, the chihuahuas sit there and shiver up here. Like, who has a chihuahua in New England? That's stupid. They're sitting there shivering. Why does everybody shivers all freaking day long, man? They always got her clothes. She goes. She'll climb into clothes. If you if you hold on yeah. her clothes, she'll come and walk into her clothes. But she's cold, and she knows it keeps her warm. Yep. It's just oh yeah. Freaking insane. Yeah, little chihuahuas do not belong in New England. They just don't belong here. They belong in Texas and Arizona and Mexico. Yeah. You're a yapping llama. <laughs> What's up, dude? Jump in the stream. Here, you want to jump in the stream? Oh, there he is. Hey. hey he's going to give me crap is what he's going to do. I love to reply on his video. <laughs> I said something about no wonder why you have feedback all the time with them big-ass speakers, you know. Or with feedback. You get feedback once in a while on live streams. But I was just kidding, you know. That's what the yellow wall was. John? <laughs> uh, trying to cover your ass now. Well, I put a little while after. <laughs> I'm just, I don't care. Come on, I'll take you out. Yeah, it's like me and Hawk. Me and him are always picking on each other. Yeah. He gets into a stream, like he starts watching the live stream for Christmas, and I'll be like, oh, man, there's that Hawk dude. I got to leave now. <laughs> there are some big-ass you know, speakers, though, you got, John, for a computer. Holy crap, you hear that in the next county. I have my full blown stereo hooked up to my computer. Yeah, I don't even. I mean, I don't even have really a stereo anymore. Oh, look, you can see like oh, I used to have them big old MTXs, you know, with the 15 inch woofers and crap in them. And, yeah. yeah. Crap about any of that. It's funny, I used to sell stereos for almost 10 years. Oh, yeah, that's your son's studio. Sure, it is, John. Sure. Or come online and uh, defend yourself. We don't believe you. <laughs> uh, I used to sell all that junk. I got wicked deals on it. Bose and uh, and uh, Harmon Carden used to give us wicked deals at the sales. You, you used to get credits every time you sold one of their products toward getting one of yourself. I used to sell Harmon Carden and Bose like crazy when I worked at Lies of Sound. And I got this massive system for like $200. It was probably worth eight, nine, ten grand at the time. You should. Them MTXs, back when I bought them MTXs, they were 500 bucks a piece. 
Yeah. I bought all uh, Harman Kardon rack stereo. And I had these bows, like, I think they were 901s. They were huge. Massive. And I put them in my little apartment with my roommate. And then I got, because they were kind of just low end. They weren't really good at the high end. So I got a set of little GBLs to go with them that punched out the high end. It was like this tower, like this freaking tall, two of them, just sitting in our little itty-bitty living room. My living room wasn't as big as this bedroom is in that apartment. Uh Massive stereo in it. Uh Like, why do you have that massive stereo? And I'm like, because I can. (laughs) Didn't really cost me much. Yeah, Bose is... Bose is Bose like, are game, but they also it's like Bose is like Apple. <laughs> they're just over. They're, I mean, they're great. Don't get me wrong. Bose are nothing like awesome. an Apple. Let's not even get into this crap tonight. Bose, no, are, Bose just, are great speakers. Apples are crap computers. Yeah, so well, I'm not no, going into it. <laughs> anyway, they're they're overpriced. I mean, they're they're great. Uh-huh. They're definitely the better speaker systems, but you can get. Darn close to equivalent, if not equivalent, for less money. What the hell do I even have now? Oh, I got clips. To, clips. I just have some junk ass. Clips, clips even even in business anymore? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I haven't seen them in so long. Uh, they're made in Wisconsin, I think. Are they? Uh-huh. So are I got them. Uh, bulls are made in Wisconsin. Or not bulls, um, MTXs. Sorry. Yeah, none of them are made here anymore. <laughs> Those are still made in Wisconsin. My clips is I got yeah. when uh, the company Start I used to work for. Oh, you betcha. I like red delicious apples too. And I, I like apple pie. Gold. Actually, I prefer apple crisp. I really don't like apple pie. I don't like, I like both of them. I like the crunchy, like Dutch apple pie with the with the crunchy, just brown sugar top. I don't like regular floury, doughy top pie. Oh, it's almost quiet in here now. I shut that damn door. I should do that more often. <coughs> no, I was at the house. I didn't have to worry about it. I was downstairs. Concentric bottom layers. <coughs> I like using the concentric bottom layer. I just wish it would do my... With Curia, you can set just the first very bottom layer so you see it concentric and all the rest of them go back to the line. Well, I don't know what I'm doing. This stays concentric all the way up, which isn't as strong. But that's all right. It's just a stupid vase. Very dark and it's purple. I don't know much about them. Don't touch it. How do you say that word? Analysts. I can't even say it. I cannot pronounce that word properly. It's too much of a tongue twister. He disappeared and he mute himself. <laughs> I gotta say, is it better fit to say I'm gonna be pissed? I really the only thing that might not fit are the holes, but that's all right. I can scrape them out. Okay, I don't need this on anymore, so I can shut that down. Power down, baby. Yeah. Shut down system. Yes, I would like to. I don't need the little printer running anymore. I should be over there. Proof the studios. Oh, yeah, they could get me up to 356, 370 subs, probably. And feature me? <laughs> oh, somebody just got blacklisted. I mean, how do you get blacklisted in here? And where's a freaking mod? Who got blacklisted? Oh, somebody over here in Proof the studios. Oh, why? Where? I don't oh, he know. showed a freaking. Oh, he did show an address. Everybody. Sh- oh, he wasn't a mod. That's why. <laughs> Who's the studios mods? Everybody. Who's he sees you? He mods you. 
Uh, all right. Well, the controversy is over, so I just want to stop in and say hi. Oh, you just make a commotion and leave, huh? Yep. Make a bunch of racket and noise and screw everything all up and I'm out of here. That's all right. I'll just pre. I'll go into pre. Uh -oh. I mean, I can hang out for a little while. I'm not. Yeah, drop closer to the mic, though. Something. Oh yeah. Now that it's printing, I'm pretty much done. So you try to turn you up. Oh yeah, you're only at twenty, I guess. I'll turn you up a little. I probably hear you now. I can hear you now. Yes, I can. More than I want to. Probably. Yeah, that's all good. I think I need some hot spice later. Oh yeah, that's how you used to be good. You saw it too. Were you around when I did it the other day? I was showing the. You get these tea bags now. You put the cider in the microwave and you throw this little like tea bag of spices in it. Oh yeah. In a minute, and it comes out like old-fashioned malt spider and stuff. Was good too. Huh? No, I heard of that. Really good. That burned me a little pliers holder today. I don't know if I can see it right there. Oh, pliers and parsnips and everything. Just for something grand. Didn't take a lot of filament, so I printed it. What's that? Oh, the little stand? Yeah, a little stand there for pliers. The yeah, I have a little hangy thing that I screwed to my bench. That well, I don't have a bench made yet, so you know my desk ain't made yet, so I can't print that type of stuff yet. Yep. I don't know where it's going to go or what I need, so I've got to wait. You know? Yeah, I know the field. Oh, oh crap. Yeah? <laughs> now I'm in yawn stage. Yeah? I haven't done anything all day. My brother showed up. He was here four or five hours, had some dinner, and then left. Uh, yeah, I didn't do nothing today either, man. I mean, I just started around sitting here, man. It felt like crap. Absolutely like crap all day. My teeth were hurting. I had a headache. I've been up since 2 o'clock in the freaking morning. We're gonna fix the lights, not the light switch, but people that own this dumb switch to be here. Oh, there's the light. Hey, we have some light filament. There we go. You said we can go out there and fix the fridge, huh? Little buttons on the fridge fell off. Holds the drawers or the door cabinets in. So we'll just we'll hit it with a 3D pen and be all happy. Happy, happy, joy, joy. Yeah. Now I was just putting stuff away and the other day and the freaking frit fell apart. So I made this ugly ass face for 2019. Isn't it ugly? What I do? Oh, your ugly face? I've seen that. My ugly ass face, yep. Yeah. Why is it doing that? Uh, there we go. Uh, you made that last night, didn't you? Yeah, did you make that one? I just popped in last night when you were shutting down. No, I just made this one. I deleted that other one. I just made uh, this one now. It's pretty ugly. But I bet printed in the right film and so it would be cool. Yeah. We're going to find out. I'm liking this Snow Labs crap. This is a good film. Yeah? I might have to buy more when I get rich and famous again. <laughs> yeah. Ain't gonna be buying none in any near future because I ain't got no more money. <laughs> yeah, John's got some. Go ask him for some. I'll have to ask him for some money tomorrow. He's gonna buy me a coffee tomorrow. I'll okay. do it all day long, like he did. <laughs> I have money. I save money because I know this happens every year. So I was put money in the bank. But... Oh yeah. Yeah. When it comes time for uh, unemployment, yep, you got money for that one. I haven't even claimed yet. I should probably do that. Well, I'll do it Monday. <laughs> I can't do it until the week that you claim. You worked this week, so I'm getting tired. No, I haven't worked in two weeks, really. Oh. They actually legally laid us off like three weeks ago. I was yeah. working for cash. He was paying me cash. In fact, he owes me another week still. I'm going to call him up and get some money. I mean, we, we worked a day, half a day here, half a day there, just goofing off. Which, to be honest, I really don't care about getting paid for because we really didn't work all that hard. <laughs> we were more or less just goofing off. Yeah. 
So I may not even call him on it because it's just not worth it. Wait until you're broke. Broke, broke. Yeah. No, because I mean, I mean, he does me a favor. We do each other favors. I've known the guy for 20, 25 years. I had his, he's got a dumpster trailer. You know, it's a big trailer that we use as a dumpster. Uh -huh. we, brought, we brought that here and I filled it up like three or four times and, you know, towed it to the dump and everything. That's all gas and everything. I'm burning up of his. Yeah. None of my vehicles will come that way, so I'm using his truck. What the hell is a wheel to spin in? Got some damn wheels to spin. I know the actual dumping too, but I don't, because I know I took that out over my paycheck. Who's he doing at now? What you doing? I don't know. I hear some yelling or something in the background. Oh, I was just listening to Bruce to see what the hell they were doing. I was seeing what they were doing. Oh, isn't it Friday night hangout tonight? Yeah, that's on about an hour. I'm going to have to watch that, I guess. I'm, I, I've never actually caught one. I keep going to watch them, and I always end up too late or not having the time or forgetting, yeah. basically just forgetting about it. <laughs> in there. In there. That's for sure. Yeah, I, I try to watch it, but I'm like you, I miss it most of the time. I don't think I've, I've never caught one. Hmm? I've caught them. Usually... Oh, two hours? Okay. So what yeah, time? Nine o'clock? They start at nine, nine okay. Yeah, ten o'clock there, ain't it? Two hours? I, don't, I have no idea. It starts in two hours. Yeah, so it'd be ten here, which means I'll be fast asleep, which is half the reason I don't catch them. Yeah. yeah. I have a hard time, yeah, because it's nine o'clock here. Got to get that beauty sleep. God knows we all need it. Oh, they are? I guess, yeah, I'm going to have to watch that. Talking about Earthster this year, tonight. I haven't even been on tw Twitter here, and I couldn't tell you how long. Yeah. Okay, I've been on Twitter like a lot. He goes, I should look at uh, Twitter and see if anybody tweeted me. Nobody ever tweets me, but I figured I'd look. Oh, yeah, Puffa went live an hour ago on uh, Twitter. He's on it at Twitter big time now. He likes that. Who? Holy crap, John, man. Got some Christmas lights? Oh, 50% off at Walmart. Would you buy every one they had? Holy crap, Lord. All right. Let me share a screen with you. Where is it? Right there. No, I don't bring that over there. How the hell do I get to it now? Ah, got you on the wrong frickin' thing there. Put you in there. This way, I'm gonna shrink you down. You just like uh, locked up, blinked out, and went all crazy there for like a second. Who, that me? I'm moving screens yeah, around. Yeah. I'm moving screens around, and I don't like it. It don't like it. Uh, Join us tonight. Wait, Joe. Mo. Mo Jink, whoever Mo Jink is. Uh, uh, 2018 3D printing of the year wrap up. There you go. Look at them. Look at all them lights John bought. Didn't John Mack bought enough lights? Light. Oh, those are boxes of Christmas lights? What the hell? Yeah. Are all that? One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Why? eight. No, there's five by eight block there. What well, five times eight is forty? Uh, and then four, one, two, three, four, five, four, another twenty there. Christ, you must have bought a hundred freaking boxes. I'll be right back. Okay, I'll watch this for you. <laughs> Whatever. 
Why don't you really go on the juice? No, just kidding. I wouldn't do that. It's the muscle pound that's cranking slowly. It's working hard, they're hardly working. Get all that red filament out of here. What is wrong with you? Who, me? I'm crazy as a freaking squirrel, man. $50. Wrong <laughs> with me? Nothing wrong with me. Here comes red. Give me some white. Why not? Oh, I, I'm not following them either, am I? <laughs> I don't go under that often. And when their names pop up, then I do. But thanks, I'll uh, follow them. There, now I am. Got anything else to say, Mr. Putram? There you go. Yeah. Pick those oh, out. Can you see that? Yeah. They're awesome. That's your apple cider tea? Yeah, they're like mulling spices, but it's in a little tea bag. When you throw the freaking apple cider or apple juice. They're actually supposed to be for apple juice. So I like it better with apple cider. When you throw the apple cider in a coffee mug, throw one of those in there, put, put it in the microwave for a minute and a half, two minutes. Boom, done. Let it sit for a minute or two after that. Stir it up, and it tastes like heaven. I love malt cider. I always have. One of those I end up, though, I end up drinking a boatload of it, and then, like, all of a sudden, I'm just sick like, of it? Yeah, I get sick of it real fast. Yeah. Like, I don't want that no more. Um, I, I, I go on Twitter more than anything that I do. I then, um, you know, like, freaking, uh, you can't you can't go on Facebook all the time because that's just nothing but freaking whiny ass gossip. Yeah, you know? well that's why you go to my Facebook pages. I have a friendly 3D printing group. I don't go. I on very Facebook. strictly monitor it, and if anyone starts whining or bitching, I don't even scold them. I just boot them. <laughs> Oh, I don't do that. I had one guy come up and you know, if someone knew, you know, asked the stupid question, "How do I set my, you know, level height or what's the difference?" Nothing stupid, you know. It really was a dumb question. And this guy came on here. He's like, "Oh, you know, let me did the let me Google that for you." And that's a big. I don't. I have zero tolerance for that. Let me Google that for you. Bull crap. Yeah. It's like, let me delete that for you. Click. <laughs> See you bye. You're booted. Uh, how many freaking people you got in there? Uh, two or three thousand, I think. Really? Uh, yeah. yeah, no, I just, you know, I, I don't like to put tweets out every day or anything like that. My YouTube does. Whenever I go live, it tweets it. But I don't. I use the contact thing. It's fun to look around once in a while, but you know. I cleaned house not too long ago and I deleted like a boatload. <laughs> like uh I like a thousand. I think I deleted a thousand accounts that were all you know, you can tell they're spam. For one, the minute I'm a monitor or the you know, the administrator and they have me blocked. <laughs> it's like, well, <laughs> if you're gonna block me in my own group, you're not gonna come into my group. <laughs> well, they kind of can't, can they? I mean, they can try, but you can still do whatever you want. It's your group, right? Oh, yeah. They can't do anything about it. I own it. <laughs> well, I mean, if you wanted to see what the hell they're doing, you still could, no matter what, couldn't you? No. Well, if they post, you can't see it and stuff if they block you. Oh. Yeah, I'd boot them the hell out of there. Yeah, exactly. That's what the spammers do. They go into these groups, and then they block the administrators and the mods. So the administrators and mods can't see what they're posting, which you still can, 
because the minute anybody else responds or even doesn't like it, pops up again. I have that. Members, how many members do I have in my friendly 3D printing group? I have 2,010 members. Screen share. Application window. This one. Friendly 3D printing group. Here it is. I gotta do a better. Did a real simple uh, window here originally. I actually had a nicer one with all kinds of 3D printers and all kinds of stuff in it. And I did some holiday ones and put holiday wreaths and all the crap around it. And then I went back to a simple one. I need to do another one. But yep, 3D friendly 3D printing group is my group, and I control it and I moderate it, and it's all me. And, Blah blah blah. It's very happy and it's people so open now if you guys are done. People don't. Who wants to join my group? Somebody wants to join my group. <coughs> Matt, what do you got in your Facebook group? Yeah, I don't I don't do Facebook. I mean yeah, I I do some of the 3D printing channels, but I I try not to go on there. Yeah, I, I monitor some of them and that's it. Oh, there's the best. Oh, first, I didn't even know it. Well, 2,000, 2,000, you got five. <laughs> I don't know about this Ryan Butram guy. You uh, know this guy? Isn't he some up, kind of scammer or something? Yeah, he's Isn't got he a hack. That's <laughs> what he is. Ain't <laughs> ass dude. Come on, bird. Probably he's not like the He's like the quietest, most passive guy I think I've ever seen on here. Hey, there's Mr. Ricky Tanner. How's it going? What's up, Tanner? How come you're not out singing for your money? It looks like he's done. I, I want to be done. Get started today. And man, there's freaking hackers hacking me in there. Man, I can't can't even shut Discord off. I had to shut my computer off because they kept on messaging me. You know, something about a hacker. Or joining a hacker club or some shit and just kept on bing 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 and right where it was binging was right where i needed to get to close it down so i couldn't get I and mean, every time i click on it it would bing me again and piss me off yep i had to shut my damn computer off eggs and toast and coffee was my ritual whenever i did an all-nighter back then yeah i eat breakfast i'm not sure what I don't you're about. sure you're already done for the day, huh? Well, send me a link. Send me a link. I'll join your damn Facebook group. Um, sure. <laughs> Here. I just did it in the chat. Yeah, I did. Join the group. In. I put like dickheads or something like that. <laughs> what is this about? Lonely old guys that have nothing better to do than chat with each other on Facebook. I'm gonna find my name. Okay. Yeah, you're in late. No, oh, question one. Okay. Oh, my freaking is it?
Yeah, see, I come in there and there's people. Who the hell is that? I don't even know who the hell that guy is. Three hundred notifications. Oh, we're playing Fortnite. I want to play Fortnite. Who is that guy? Oh, it's a three D printer. Okay. Yeah, cute girlfriend or wife, whatever she is. <laughs> That's one guy I haven't seen in a while, Mitch. I haven't seen him around much at all lately. With a backpack printer, you know? Are we still here? Hello? Am I the only one here? <laughs> Stream get shut off? Hell, I don't know. Oh. Let's go see some Fortnite. What's he doing? Live. That's what I want to see. Dumbasses. Are we still here? Yeah, I'm here now. Oh, okay. I was downstairs. Ah, I was just like, what the hell? Oh, yeah, I still got a screen share, don't I? Fine, well. Yeah, I forgot. Who's this Mike Wiley guy? Yeah, eh? I'm kind of freaking asshole from the looks of it. <laughs> <laughs> Oops, I gotta turn this down now. They tried to hide the good uh, I'll show you those. Hang on, just say it, I gotta find my volume. Uh, they tried to hide the cookies on me. And it didn't work. Like, just because they tried to hide them on me, I had to take a whole boatload of them. <laughs> I do that too. I don't take them all. Curtis laughing on what? Huh? What's Jake talking about? I don't know what Jake's talking about. I mean, I don't. Jesus, criminalities. I didn't want to say hi to that douchebag. But it wouldn't let me do anything else. Oh, he'll see me anyways. God dang it. Yeah, I, I, in one of them, I forget, where Nerdy is cool, he had some forum channel or some shit, and he had this question there, man, and I actually had to go ask him about it. It was a pretty print question. I thought I knew the answer, but I wasn't sure. So I went and I asked him, you know, and I'm like, you know. Oh, I didn't even. I didn't even look at those. I was approving them before you guys could even type them in. Oh, uh, no, but, you know, and it was a weird question, real weird question, but it was an easy question, but weird. And the way how it was worded, you know, but it was 3D, the answer was 3D printing, of course, you know, but it just, the way how he worded it, it Put just. Back on. I should be on. Don't verify that. Right now, I am turning off the games that I need this website, so you should go to the news and start talking about it. So, how are you watching now? Uh, ben Craig. Oh. He's, uh, Playing a game on Facebook, I watch him. I guess I do that on Facebook, but now I just go there and watch him. Hey, Rover! Oh, ouch. What do we got in here? 
What about Thingiverse? I'm not Thingiverse. The ridiculous amount of lag it's got right now. Man, that is terrible. You got to open up like three of them and search in three different ones just so you can uh, get something done in there. I am. It's been like that for a couple months, though. It's like, yeah, right? about a month. It's been really bad. Yeah. It was really good all summer. Yeah. Like better. Every once in a while, there'd be problems, you know, just a little bit. Lots of I mean, I, you sort of expect it this week. Yeah. You know, like newbies getting their printers and whatever else is. Yeah. I don't think as many people really did as they, you'd think, you know. I mean, hell, I haven't gotten no calls. I mean, I've got ads out on Craigslist, so you think they would have called me, you know. A lot of them probably got them damn a nets or trucks yeah. crap, you know, for a hundred bucks. I've been slowly switching over to my mini factory. Yeah, I, I like my mini factory, but you gotta, you know, that, that, I mean, all it does is take you to freaking thingy first, anyways. Yeah. Well, it does. Most of the stuff's on Thingiverse, you know. It's not supposed to. Well, ninety percent of the stuff on there is from Thingiverse because they go around to all the other. Well, my mini factory, that's pin shape or plane shape. No, it's my mini. Factory. My mini factory, they're all tested and approved and uploaded right there. Let's see. Let me go. Off. Let me look. I might be. Yeah, you might be right. I might be thinking of a different one. Yeah, that's where Angus is. Yeah. But see, if you're just doing a general search, it takes you somewhere stupid. Angus uses a uh, mini factory, and so does, uh, um, what's his name? It Make Anything. He uses uh, my mini factory now. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Because he can charge for his shit. My mini factory. Oh, no, no. oh, that's a, Yeah, Devin. Um, you can charge on my mini factory, but you don't have to. No, I know, I know. Yeah. But it's cool that the ability is there, actually. Yeah, I, under, I understand that, you know. They make, you know, they work hard on them on that stuff, you know. Right. I understand that, you know. Well, like Tanner's car, who's Jeep. He should put that on my mini factory and charge a couple bucks. You don't have to charge, you know, twenty five dollars. You can charge two bucks. Yeah. You know, I'd pay two bucks for that little GP's bill. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Shit, yeah. No, no, I, yeah, you ain't a kid there, man. You know, it's not even the. It's not even the, I want to make money off it. It's the. I don't mind it because it's appreciating the the model builder. You know. Yeah. I had a couple on there I was charging for for a while, but you just you know, got it was little things I wasn't making any money off it anyway, so I just made them free again. I'd make my quadcopter frame a couple bucks, but. It's such a specific model of quadcopter with needing such specific parts and everything that if I got a half a dozen people in 10 years to freaking pay for it, it'd be amazing. Yeah. I don't know who the fuck this oops, who this guy is, but I know him somewhere. Okay, well, he's... Oh, God, this stuff's awesome, dude. Holy moly, that's a big one. That's a big one. See this? My little tea bag floating in my car in my uh, coffee. My apple cider. Yeah, baby, that's good stuff. Very, very good. Well, that's the other thing about uh, thinking versus my mini factory. People slap crap up on thinking hurts. Just, just, yeah. yeah. Uh, well, I don't ever, I don't ever try to print anything on there unless they have pictures of it printed. Yeah. 
But Thingiverse, I mean, uh, my mini factory, everything goes through a virtual printer. So it has to be physically printable for them to accept it. Yeah. Yeah, I've denied a couple of my models because it was it was a broken manifold. They said we can't we can't let you do that because you can't print it the way it's sitting. So they made me fix it and re-upload it. And they've actually the one complaint we all used to have is it takes them sometimes a couple weeks to approve it. But yeah. Now if, if you print them, if you know if you build a model and you print it yourself and you upload it with a picture of it printed, they'll approve it within 24 hours as long as there's more you have to have more than one and it has to you know be obviously the parts you've uploaded. Like I just did my quad copy today and they already approved it. Yeah. Which is that's the quickest I've had any models of mine approved. Yeah. yeah. Oh, you did some of the scan the world ones? What would you do? Anything good? <laughs> I suppose I need to get my meds to get out of everything. The other stuff, so then I gotta ready for the heat. Any factory? They have some oversized models now. They've changed their format a little bit. And I have to. Um, I'm ready for tomorrow morning, and then I've got too long. What else do I got too long to do? I always forget. And then I got too long. Huh. Oh, I got to go pick up crap. No, I load my truck and fill it back up. And I only got a couple of days to be out of there. And if I don't do it, nobody does. So. Yeah, in general. I mean, I still won't get rid of Thingiverse and stop uploading there because it's just so big. <coughs> I mean, Thingiverse has got all the other ones put together. You know, you oh, yeah, they got models better, you know, more than anybody. You know? Yeah, well, it's not just models because we got the access. I mean, for every one or two downloads I get off of my mini factory, I get like a hundred off of Thingiverse. Yeah. I don't know. I put models out there. I don't ever look to see if anybody downloads them. That and I like sure, they don't. You know, Thingiverse gives you all your stats too. They can tell you how many people have viewed it, how many have actually downloaded it, all that crap. Where my mini factory just goes, oh, 10 people have downloaded it. And that's about all the information. Freaking smoky hot in here. My life's got that damn heater on 9,000, I swear to God. didn't do the scanning, you just built it from their photos. All right, guys. Yeah. I'm going to try to find you here, and I'm going to bug out. All right. Later, man. Yeah, we'll see you guys tomorrow. Yeah, TK, they definitely have some... Uh... Yeah, and they are out. Because I love... Uh, if you go down to the bottom, you just load the page of a model. You go down to the bottom, and it says how many downloads are there and how many views. And then you go into the actual model files, each, you know, file. It'll be like twice what it shows down there of downloads. So then I've had one recently when I did, uh, oh, when I did the pumpkin head for uh, Fun King 3D. I did the Fun Pumpkin 3D. Um, I was looking at the analytics of that like two weeks after Halloween. And it had like 600 views. But 800 downloads or some crap like that. I mean, it's not that much. It was like 150 and 100 or something. But there was more downloads than there was views. Now, how is that even possible? Because you have to view the page to download it. Yeah, I don't think they're there. I don't think it's exceedingly accurate, but it's still a general referency. You know, you can tell what model is doing well and, you know, maybe make something similar or do another model of that style and what's just not, you know, 
nobody's downloaded it, nobody's looking at it, and it's just a piece of garbage. Nobody has any interest in it. Which is all I use it for. I'm like, yes, I will make... That's why I did all those vases, because I did the first vase, and then I ended up doing a whole series of distorted, and then I did elliptical distorted, and then because they were downloading like crazy. I'd upload them and I'd get 100 downloads in 24 hours without even advertising or posting it anywhere. I'd just throw it up on Thingiverse and poof, they'd download it. Did you model it or is that one of those scan things? Scan the world, dragons. What dragons? Post the link. And uh, add moderator. You are now a moderator, so you can post the link. Did it work? Why didn't your name turn blue? Nope, oh, says it added. Yeah, I'm going to make Robbie Mac a moderator too because he's always in here. And add moderator. Okay, now it's blue. It's blue. Dragon of Turricarn. Turricarn. The dragon. And of course, Thingiverse is going to sit here and not load the pictures. Like it just loves to do. Stop. Reload. There we go. Oh, that's freaking cool, dude. That's wicked cool. And that what you modeled that or was the scan of something? Yeah, but most of my vases are unique. Everyone does these, like, perfectly symmetrical vases, which are nice. Don't get me wrong. Mine are all distorted. I never make them perfect deliberately. Oh, some of my more perfectly looking ones are the better downloads. That is a nice dragon mine. It's a basic scan. Okay. So it is a scan of a model, and then you retouched it up in ZBrush. I wish I could afford real ZBrush. Although I don't think it would run on this computer. It would probably just crash and die. Because this computer is a little too old. The ZBrush Core has a hard time and bogs down all the time on it. Sculptress runs like a dream. Everyone's like, oh, it's all light. Sculptor's light. It's like sculpture actually has way more calculations and everything. The way it draws and automatically increases. Um, yeah, resolution when you draw. Micronaut stand base. Seriously? <laughs> 96 downloads. I mean, he's a dragon guy. Dragon's got a boatload. Holy crap. Almost 5,000 downloads. I might have to steal that dragon and print it. It's the largest fire in London school.
Damian Lore can holder. That's pretty cool. Squirrel. Oh, the tanks look cool. Are those again? Those are scans and just touch ups. The tanks. Wow, you got a lot of tanks. All right, I like the little ones. Those are wicked sweet. They just look cool, all tiny and crap. Oh, really? You, you printed, you built those from scratch? That's freaking cool. I like the Mark One. It's just a cool looking tank. I don't know, is it going to let me get into my account and see the thing every time I try and view any of my own stuff? It freaks out and does something stupid. I can't even see any of my stuff lately. It sits there and spins and spins and spins. Wait, LMU Baron Grease Packer is uh, pretty popular, but uh, honestly, the stupidest thing I ever designed was a little target for lining up the center of your bed. That That's like my biggest download, just a dumb little target. How big is my LMU Baron? I haven't looked at this stuff in a long time. 1,586 downloads, but if I actually go into the thing files, this ought to be funny. 17,000, 1,700 and... 47. So how is it only 1500? I don't get it. But that's all right. Again, I just use it for a general reference on what what does get downloaded and what doesn't. Funny things. How many is my quadcopter? I loaded that up. It says 13 hours ago. It wasn't that long ago. Eh, maybe it was. It's got seven whole downloads if you look at the main window but if you look at the thing files there are 93 downloads now you figure that one out <laughs> and i only uploaded it 13 hours ago and actually i don't think it was that long ago well maybe it was gonna did do it did do it early this morning actually thingiverse is being very responsive tonight it's loading really fast The Pumpkin King. How many people have downloaded my Pumpkin King head? That was like my biggest. Yeah, it's got 374 views, but it has 382 downloads. Now, how do you have 382 downloads with only 347 views? You have to view it to download it. And it says 383 in the... I don't get it. Well, it's just I have done neither a piss on my prince yet. Your model sucks, Bartram. What? <laughs> oh, just stop. Actually, Thingiverse is being somewhat responsible. Responsive. Let's see if I can actually view my analytics. Well, it popped right up. Centering target LMU. That's my most heavily viewed and downloaded. Centering targets had 223 downloads in the last 30 days. And a total of 3,733 by that. If I go to the thing files, it'll be way higher than that, I'm sure. Yeah, 4,066. And it's just a stupid target. <laughs> a little single line target you print on your bed to figure out if you're off center of the bed or not. Is 
thing, my base is 43% done already. Yeah, it really doesn't look that much. At the time I take the basic game models and rework them to look like they did in the game, the bad max models are so bad when taken from the game. Yeah. Well, most of those, most models in the game, what little I did, I actually did some of that for a little while. Not that I got anywhere with it. I was trying to do that, I should say. Um, when the, uh, um, yeah, what the hell's the name of it? That was uh, real something. Oh, Unreal Tournament. That's right. Unreal Tournament was the original engine to do that, that everyone follows that engine now. When I first came out, I did some modeling. And you, you model super simple, and then you use all um, bitmap facing to make it actually look realistic. The actual model itself is stupidly simple. All it is is a surface for the map to go on. So it looks detailed when you're playing the game, but that's that the actual model isn't. The model's just there for a skeleton for movement. And then you wrap a picture onto it that makes it look like something real. Texture mapping, yes, that's the word I was looking for. Not that I got good at it, because I could never get the seams to match up. I mean, these guys are great at it. I, I could never get any of that crap to line up right. I don't know how the hell they do that. God, this is awesome. You guys have to try this. If you like apple cider at all, and like mold apple cider, those tea bags, it's like 15 bucks for a box of 20 of them. Throw them in there with some apple cider. Drop it in the microwave for 20 minutes. Yeah, um, 20 minutes, 22 minutes. You let it sit for another minute before you take it out of the microwave, stir it up, and then drink. And it is freaking good. Yeah, I just never got the texture mapping. I just never got it to work. I don't think I ever got one model of the texture map properly to what I felt was a good texture map. There was always, if you looked at it just right, you could see a seam or the whole area, there was nothing texture mapped onto it. Just never worked. Never got it to work right. I like normal tea. I drink normal tea all the time, too. I don't do mead. All right. Mead. We call that honey beer. And that's gross. This isn't something I drink a lot, but every once in a while I get, like, a craving for it. Usually this time of year. Can't imagine why. It has something to do with the holidays. God, it's good, though. Something about the apples and the cinnamons and the clove. Clove gives you that weird taste that I like. Yeah, I mean, it's all, again, it's all texture mapping. It's not really modeling. <laughs> You know, you strip all the texture map off, and it's, it's there's the models. It's a skeleton, basically. I used to call it a muscle map. Because <laughs> basically, you just do the outlines of the muscles, and that's it. No, you can keep the whiskey. Rum and Coke, if I'm going to be drinking. 
Occasionally, I'll have a beer still. Red wine. Love me some good. Actually, I like cheap Cabernets better. I think they taste better. I was like, oh, that's not a good wine. It's like, yeah, but it tastes good. So I don't buy it just because the price tag is higher. I buy it because it tastes good. Yeah, I remember when ray tracing first came out. It was like the biggest thing. That was in, what, the late 80s, early 90s? We started ray tracing. I never got 3D Max. I played with it a little. I had it. I mean, I owned it. I just never got it to work right. I really liked Maya, but I could never afford it half the time. I always had a student copy or something that I hacked into and used it for a month or two. But I always had to use the cheaper Ray Dream Designer and all of those. Ray Dream Designer was my first true 3D app. Actually, it was Ray Dream. It wasn't Ray Dream Designer. What's up, Sean? Yep, trouble's here. Time to close down. I'm going to go anyways. It's almost 9 o'clock. So what's wrong with some form of the questionnaires? You can actually fill out stuff. You, you, I, you have the intelligence. You can do it, buddy. I know you can. Are you talking about actually joining the stream or just watching it? You're talking about actually joining the stream. Three or four pages. That, yeah, that's a little too much. Where is that? You got a link to that? I want to see how much of questioneering they're asking for. That would be stupid if it's more than... What the hell are they asking? Do you know what you're doing? Yes or no. Do you have a 3D printer? Yes or no. What the hell else? Yeah, I don't know if they can you know, show me either. He is a um, an acquired taste. <laughs> eh, crap. What do I even got the camera on? I'm not even actually watching the video. Oh, Mark asked to join. Come on. Come on. You can do it. Approve all. You're about to add zero people. I guess I already did everybody. Uh, does anyone know how I can set a slicer to do something? I don't care about any of that. Um, Twitter. <laughs> yeah, they probably started doing it after you got on there. Wouldn't surprise me. Yep. <sighs> um, let's see. Following, I know I'm following him. Yeah, it's called this this here hangout right here. <laughs> That's your uh, 3D hangout for Mungle, Muggles. 3D printing community hangout. That's the one, right? Friday 3D printing community hangout. The name's just too long and obnoxious. Muggle fluckers. <laughs> That's funny. Ah, uh, crap. Viewed. 
Joe Mike. Why well, Joe Mike? I mean, I like Joe Mike and everything, but everyone seems to have him on everything now. And what's he even do? <laughs> he did a few videos back in the day. I didn't even done any in a while, has he? I mean, I know he just had a kid, so. It starts at 10 o'clock tonight. Um, isn't it a little early to be there? At seven o'clock, he was on there. Holy crap. Stream from his bad tubby. I heard something about that. Uh, you guys think Command Strip would stick to TPU? I have no idea. Um, is this it? Nope. Oh. You want to hop in here? Sure. Let's see. I gotta get back to that window. Where's my Google Hangouts window? There it is. Copy. Paste. Probably not going to be on here for very long because I'm crashing quick, but I might stay another half an hour. <sighs> I got a cookie on my keyboard. Cookie bad for keyboard. Cookie good for me, not for keyboard. Delete your cookies. <laughs> yep. How's my printer going over here? <clears throat> oh, going. There's a big old purple thing appearing. Purple spider burps. How many crazy people are actually in here? Ten? Ten whole people here. Holy crap. Ten people have absolutely no lives and come here and watch my dumb ass.
Okay, that worked. <laughs> no, yes, yes. Dual streaming. I see you, John. It's not allowed. It's against the law. No dual stream watching. <laughs> What? All right, friend. Oh. I won't. I won't let you go through this alone. Well, oh, I don't care. I was. I was actually getting ready to close it down, anyways. But that's all right. Oh, perfect! I came in at just the right time. <laughs> I'll hang out for another half hour. Maybe I might crash before that. I'm freaking <laughs> downhill fast. I got some hot freaking apple spider in me, and some cookies, and I'm good to go. Nap time. <laughs> Come on, wing man, you gotta you gotta jump in here. I'll puking. Who's puking? Wing man. He's he's had like food poisoning three times this month. Who's wing man? Butchum. Oh. Butchum's my wing man. Or I'm his, I guess. Yingling, you actually drink that stuff. Actually it's not bad. I, I do. It's not too bad. It's cheap. It is cheap. I, I like Wee, Wee Mac, but man, that stuff is whew, pricey. I'm a, I'm a big, like, I mean, I don't drink that much um, beer anyways, but. Oh, John Maxson. There he is. He just jumped in. Um, I do agree with you on your uh, comment about the Cabernet, though. I, I like red wines and just whatever yeah, tastes Cabernet good. Well. And I yeah. prefer the cheaper ones. I yeah. Do, ha I, you know. Half the ones I try that are like, you know, twelve, sixteen dollars a bottle, I'm like, okay, this isn't really tasting all that great. <laughs> yeah. Well, I go in and I will spend more than that. But uh I there's a real fancy, fancy wine shop right I mean literally like if I stay on my roof I could probably see it. It's less than a mile away. And uh I go in there and he, he introduced me to this wicked good wine and it's a cabernet. And it's like four ninety nine a bottle. Wow, that's awesome. Yeah, I, I'm usually around like eight eight bucks a bottle yeah. range. Well, that's what I, was, I was buying like you know ten yeah. fifteen. And I always go in and I buy like a bottle of cheap stuff, and then I try a bottle of twenty twenty five dollar bottle. Right. Yeah. You know, I don't drink that much. If I buy two bottles of wine, that's a month worth of drinking for me. Yep. You know, so you know, I feel bad just buying a four ninety nine or five ninety nine dollar bottle of wine. So I. And I like them. I mean, I like Cabernets anyway. So. <laughs> Cabernets and Merlots. John Mack is not trying to sell telephones. He he's helping me. I have a situation at work where we have to yeah, switch over to voice over IP, and he was he was trying to help me, Jake. You guys were talking about that the other day. Yeah. But uh, I always try the more expensive ones. I used to work at a four star restaurant. I was a chef in a four star restaurant for ten years. Oh damn! More than that, twenty years, almost twenty years. I worked there because I started as a dishwasher. And then a friend of mine became the head chef there. And he's like, you know how to do all this stuff. I've seen you do it. Why don't you come help me as a chef? And I'm like, well, you know, this is like a part-time gig because I'd work all day. And then I'd go there and it was like my weekend play money job. So I started helping him. Stopped working my regular job. Started working at just the restaurant. So I was chefing like Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. And then washing dishes. Thursday, Friday, Saturday, because they, you know, get overwhelming for me. I wasn't that fast. Anyway, I did that for 10 years. And uh, every Christmas, they'd bring out these, you know, they'd have a big Christmas party, and they'd bring out the, all these wines that they're, you know, sampling for the customers. And they'd always bring out one or two, like, you know, multi-thousand dollar bottles of wine. And they were the grossest crap every time. They were disgusting. Yeah. Like, Who would pay two grand for this bottle of wine? Shalom. Welcome aboard, man. Sh Shalom. <laughs> His name is Shalom. We have, to call him, we have to call him everything but Shalom. Yeah. Your mic's not on. Oh, yeah. Mic's muted. My mic's muted? No, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, now we can hear I just got you, but it was really, really, really oh, quiet. It's, yeah, okay. It was turned up. There you go. 
Yeah, Butcherm and I were saying that you two need to do like a like a weekly stream and call it the Shama Lama Ding Dong Show. <laughs> well, I made you the ding dong fucker. <laughs> well, Butcherm and I could be the ding dongs. You guys could be the Shama Lama. <laughs> Shall like me. <laughs> But Ram is the ding dong. All righty then. Oh, he's already on it in chat there, man. All we right, pretty much do it all the time now, anyways. Yeah, you've been doing a lot of a lot of night streams, man. It's kind of cool. I'm out of work, so. Yeah, last last time you stream, uh, we pull an all nighter after you disconnect. Yeah, John, and we continue to hang out on the, John, on the stream until we cook breakfast you, together. Yeah. Oh, I don't even have to. If you guys all stay, it doesn't shut the hangout down, does it? I yeah, it just that continue. again, man. I'm too old to do that. <laughs> it's uh, been yeah. a while, but it was good to actually do an all nighter. Yeah, I can't do that all night. You go to bed early. I'm, I did like three days in a row of staying at past midnight, and that's just too much for me. Oh, my goodness. What'd your mom think about that? You didn't get in trouble, did you? <laughs> 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 wow. Oh, so how how did your turkey turn out? Does it turn out okay? Who's What's turkey? up, son? Who's, oh, mine? Yeah, you with that oh, yeah. uh, cooker. The jerky and the turkey both. The jerky the, was weird. It, normally I do the... Because I, after, I, after I, um, I got off with you, then I ended up uh, slicing the jerky and marinating it all day. And then I got it out and, and uh, did it in the oven that night. Normally, it takes like two and a half to three hours, but this batch took four hours for some reason. It was kind of fat. There was a lot of fat mixed in it, but it's still yeah, it's yeah, pretty good. The other side of the pond there, TK? Yeah, if it even still works. And, and yeah, the turkey did not smell. Everything was really good. Tom, you had you had me nervous about the turkey because of your uh, Thanksgiving fiasco when you said you opened it up and it stank real bad. Oh, yeah, it stunk real bad. Yeah. I smelled, a- it, I smelled it upstairs in my room here. When they opened it in the kitchen with the door shut, I could smell it up here. Yeah, we had ours out thawing for four days because a lot of times I'll do it for like three days. Three three to four days and it's still freaking frozen on the inside. So this time we let it sit out for overnight the first day and then stuck it in the fridge for the remaining three days. And I was so worried that I was going to open it and it stink real bad or something. But well, luckily you know it didn't. Is if you... you you got a pot that's big enough. You yeah, it, it was in a roast wrapper, container. and you put it in a pot of water and just leave it in there. In in water, because that's what I, I was curious. I was afraid to take the wrapper off because then I thought, well, maybe it'll like dry out just sitting in the fridge or something for four days straight. I guess I don't know. Oh, well, but if you put it in the water, and you don't yeah. actually even have to keep it off. You just gotta, you know, slice the wrapper. And can you hear me now? Yes. yes. We can. Yeah, you just slice a little so the water can get in there and surround it. Gotcha. Keep, keep it, it from water. getting too dried out. Yeah, it, well, it makes it so it defrosts more evenly. Oh, yeah, that too. Because water has a better transfer, you know, heat transfer than air does. So nope. I told you we got a dehydrator for Christmas. I've been freaking making jerky and dehydrate. I got bananas in there right now. Yeah, how's that it's working for you? Yesterday. I was still working on getting that jerky consistency. I made it kind of like beef sticks, and I made it really dry. <laughs> so I got to find a happy medium. There's yeah. the apple chips. Uh, turned apple out chip. all right. It's the only thing I really, really, really liked out of dehydrator. I got one, and, and, and for kicks, the first thing I did was try to do grapes and, you know, turn them into raisins so I could show my grandson how raisins are made. It took, like, uh-huh. freaking four days to do raisins and uh-huh. that thing, man, imagine. and I'm like, now, I, just I bought, know. I just got a, a jerky yeah, kit that has this big gun. I can throw a pound of ground beef in it, all mixed up with a sauce, and then squirt it out in strips. Yeah, it yeah. Should be a little cheaper than – because I've been buying steak and brisket. And, <laughs> that's been over 150 bucks. Oh, <laughs> oh, no, no, no. no. Do, like a, do like round steak, like a top round or bottom round or yeah. something like that. that that's yeah, no, the, that's the type of thing to use for jerky. Lemon yeah, it's got the attachment. Jerky. I can kick it out in strips and stuff, so – I like my like, sauce. I make a special sauce every year for. for that's like that's like Mick jerky right there. <laughs> <laughs> McDonald's jerky. <laughs> 
No, I had I had that with the, the kit or whatever that you're supposed to spread in, but I've not tried any of it. I just, what I do, I know it, it just works. So I run I picked that. up some some ground sirloin to try it. Yeah, London broil is a good turkey meat. Yeah, is that's it? the first okay. thing I put in was three pounds of London broil. We started with. Dude, we got all the. All but do the you grind it all first? Nitro though? stuff. No, no, I just cut it in strips. It oh, okay. I was gonna say. Cut it in strips. Dude, we got a I snow cone it. maker too. We were making snow cones like the other night. Well, one of those waffle makers too, like we had uh, at Lakita Inn when we stayed up there at Earth. Man, you just put that shit in, flip it over. A minute, two minutes later, flip it back. Waffle. Nice. Yeah. Yeah, those are good. I got one of them. Still I paying still a butt having to make the, the waffle batter, but. Venom oh, yeah, sandwich yeah. makers are good. I do tuna melts in those every once in a while. That's about the only thing we ever do. Oh, we used to do like uh, pizza things for the kids where you just throw some tomato sauce and pepperoni and cheese in there. Yeah, Boom. I bought my parents one of those little yeah. sandwich makers. Yeah, what are they? Pini sandwich or Pinelli sandwich? Or I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, I got some from Walmart for like 15, 20 bucks. Yeah, or you know and, you remember the old grilled cheese grills from the 70s? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, we actually, we actually have some of those for like over the campfire, the cast iron and shit, where we would do that stuff. Yeah, yeah. Well, I used to because we have we used to have one that was um, real thick. It wasn't cast iron, but it was real thick steel. Yeah, and you could do you, well, it, was it was everything. It was a waffle iron. It was a, it was a grilled cheese iron. It was a pancake iron. Did everything. Yeah, we still got one of them somewhere. I'm requesting yeah, and they charge you. They give, year, it's half year. the size of the old pancake ones. It's only about that big. They call it panini grill, and they charge you three times as much. Yeah, three times as much. Yeah, panini on it. It's just a freaking grilled cheese grill. Flex print. Yeah, or I bought one of those hot grill. dog makers too. You throw two hot dog buns, two hot dogs in it, flip it down like a toaster. Bam! Kids are fed. Shit, that's easy. <laughs> yeah, Dude, you know what we oh, had back in the seventies? Did you guys remember the old electric hot dog cookers, where it had two hot leads and you you prick the hot dog onto it and you turn it on and go near, <laughs> and they'd be done. It like electrifies them or something. Yeah. Dude, I was still I don't think I've ever seen in that. the seventies. But you know how like they get overcooked on the ends? You can tell it's cooking because it literally you could watch it travel up the hot dog as it as it like overcooks it. Oh, like that sounds like some jailhouse thing. shit. Oh my god! Took the wires off the back of it, shoved them in the dog, and watched it cook. Well, there were like <laughs> two, it, it was literally like two hundred and twenty volt leads coming down the side of this thing with little prongs that stick up. I mean, that sounds safe. Sausage. You gotta imagine some kid oh. went. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, TK, what the hell is, is? Yeah, what is Bro, black pudding? That doesn't sound good either. And he lost me on blood sausage. My wife's a, a big fan on uh, oh, blood sausage. Is that like something with sheep intestines or something goofy? Can't remember. Isn't black uh, pudding just a kind of blood pudding? Bread pudding, my wife is a big fan of. I don't I care for it much, of. but yeah, I, I missed the correlation with that comment there, Budrum. I seen it post, but I don't know what it was in relation to. So. Much better when we get the joke when it happens. Oh, pig's blood. Yeah, that's so much better than sheep intestines. <laughs> no, it's really not. <laughs> Terry style. My neighbors across the street may may uh may do that because uh they're pig farmers over there. So Haggis is Alaska. a little of everything. Haggis is stomach and are they hitmen too? Oh, is that brain. what it is? Oh, they dispose of bodies over there at the pig farm. Together. I should I should know that shit. I'm freaking Scottish. Well, of Scottish descent. He ignored the question. Everyone's seen that, so he has helped dispose of the bodies. Just saying. <laughs> <laughs> See, he heard that shit, right? <laughs> I don't know if you were talking to me or TK. I'm talking to you. I, I know how, how pigs eat. I'm all... I know how pigs can devour a body. No, those things are nasty, though. You don't want to get anywhere near snatch? them. They're huge, too. What? Oh, that, I got you. Well, we talked about so many things, but room that was like old shit. You're bringing up old shit. We were talking about new stuff. I didn't know. They don't. Still I've never been in a sky mall. Here. I've never been that high to get that high. I've never flown, buddy. Sky mall. <laughs> is that the uh, 
the magazine you get at the airplane. Yeah. Yeah, right I up there with sharper image. There. What were you saying earlier, Tom? I don't think they make those hot dog cookers because I know people, they were all over the news right now. <clears throat> not one that people were. Uh, no, they got the, the boilers now or whatever, like I got, where it just shoved yeah. them down in there. You it's know, you a fancy toaster up. oven. It's easy. I, I buy a whole bunch of hot dogs. I don't feel like cooking one day. Hey, you know what? Have hot dogs. <laughs> Dude, I, I love raw hot dogs. Guess pan. what they're having tomorrow for lunch? Mm, it's not hot chicken. <laughs> it might be. You get chicken hot dogs. Well, I do have fried chicken in the fridge, too, so it could be. It's a coin toss. <laughs> fried chicken. We have, like, a ton of turkey, ton of ham, ton of everything. We didn't do it. Man, we did so much on Thanksgiving. My mom's like, I want a break from tradition. How about lasagna and a roast? Um, okay, mom. Sure. That sounds good. It was really good, but man, it was just an off combination. We were supposed to have a bunch of my family over at four 30. They didn't show up until eight o'clock. My wife had already put everything away and they had already ate cause they were so late coming over. Oh, so so it was a... Cause sky mall does no longer exist, but see, we didn't know that bedroom. So it helps if we're in on the <laughs> show. <laughs> that shows you the last time I flew. <laughs> In a plane, Sky Mall. Yeah, and he he's younger than we are, right? Yeah, quite a bit. He's Dude, a younger, I, junior, yeah. right? Here, here's Sky Mall. I remember paying like ten dollars a minute to to talk on an airplane phone. Yeah, <laughs> never been on a plane. You've never been no, on a plane, no, really? No, I told you I could never get that high to get that high. <laughs> Come on, man. Never done it. I've driven all over the country. Never been on a plane. Uh, I've jumped out of a plane before. Well, that makes perfect yes, sense. Yes, that is uh, it, that was freaking awesome. I got a friend of mine who's done that a dozen times. He, he almost, oh, I love I come, it. I come like that close. We were set up for the weekend and ended up stuff happened so i never did go so i was they happy with that. i signed up and freaking did the whole class and the minute i went to put my helmet on and i took my hat off and they saw the two holes in my forehead they said get the hell out of here <laughs> what broken my neck can't skydive can't, can't oh i thought it was like horns and shit and they're like no oh, way really with you. <laughs> where i've broken my neck they're worried you know when the chute opens and it jerks it can snap my neck again wow bobblehead Yep. Yeah, I took the whole class, but they gave me my money back. But I had a feeling they were gonna do that, so I like wore a hat and a bandana and everything covered them up. But we we put that helmet on my head. They saw him, and I was like, "Ah, oh, crap." <laughs> we took our class in like October, and the weather was too bad to do our jump that day, so we had to come back another day to do the jump. We kept waiting for really good weather, and finally in November we had like a day that was like 50 degrees, and we all drove up there after work. I agree. And tried to get our jump today. in. How old Man. are you? Maybe you are the oldest. It was freaking awesome. It, they had this little Cessna that had all the seats out and like just a just wood plywood for the floor, and you all hunched down, <laughs> Indian style, like one behind another. And I wanted to be the first one out the plane because I was afraid I wouldn't be able to do it. But because I'm the lightest. They put the lightest person at the back and the heaviest person at the front. So the heaviest goes first. And I was like, oh, this is going to suck. That really and, makes no sense because the heaviest is still going to catch up with the lightest. I, I, I don't know. Well, because of the, if there's issues with the plane or something like that. So, yeah, But what well, amazed well, me was it was a grass runway. And this little Cessna plane with no freaking seats. You're sitting on a wood plank. I could not tell when we when we were running on the runway to when we took off and it, and that's not to say that the flight was real bumpy. It was really smooth the whole damn time. Like I couldn't tell when we were in the air, yeah. you're sitting that's so low. You can't look out the window. Yeah. The windows are so freaking up high. You can't tell when you the couldn't hell. Tell Cause you're too busy. Clenching um, your cheeks together. Oh, well, I, yeah, that could be it too. That could have been it too. Yeah. So, so how old are you talking about 56? Yeah, they have to accelerate. The same so age as they, have to, they have to get to altitude so much faster. So you feel the acceleration in a Cessna. They're not, I mean, they accelerate real slow and then they get up in the air and they don't really accelerate anymore. So you don't gotcha. feel it like you do. Yeah, you're only going anymore. like 90 miles an hour or something, I think. The jet, you feel all that because they, they accelerate like a bat out of hell the minute the wheels get off the ground. Yeah, that makes sense. And they, 
they climb altitude as fast as they can too. Yeah. What are you, fifty six, Tom? Fifty three. Okay, same thing. What are you, Duck? Fifty six. Jesus Christ, I'm forty nine, man. <laughs> Come on. Damn. Okay. Well, you Damn. know what? You're still not the oldest, TK. Llama's the oldest. He's got you by a year. Oh, oh TK's fifty two. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna say youngest is is probably Buttram, but I don't know but, how old Matt is. Um, uh, Mac is pretty well. I'm right in the middle at forty six. John, how old are you? Thirty seven. John's only thirty seven. I think yep. he might. I think he might have Dude, Butchum I beat. He was older than me. Yeah, Butchum. Butchum's a, probably a year or two younger or something, right? How old are you, Butchum? Early thirties. He's like thirty something, mid thirties. Yeah, I thought. Yeah, Butram's like thirty nine or something, ain't he? His oldest is only like a couple years old, I think. Yeah, thirty four. Well, that don't matter. Charlie Chaplin was eighty two with a two year old. What's that mean? Mm. <laughs> but his youngest is only two. <laughs> thirty four. Ah, thirty nine, thirty four. You know what? A few more drinks and F four look like a nine. Anyway, <laughs> and at 2 a.m., they all look like wow. nine, baby. <laughs> I'm freaking old. Yeah, we well, all are. That's all right. It's all good. I I was thought for sure Robbie was older than I was. No, it's goofy, man, because... Uh, well, you get the like, white hair. Really. Yeah, five years ago, everything just started to go white and... I mean, I, all of a sudden, I went from looking like, you know, mid-40s to mid-50s in, in like a couple of years. I mean, everything is freaking white. That's why I was talking to Brian Vines because Brian strikes me as out. His hair, his the the hair on his head is all brown, but his his beard is all gray and everything. Yeah, mine's getting gray. I got, I got the stripes here. If I let it grow out, it, it grows gray right, right around here. Should, and uh, cut, cut all your hair pink again. Right yeah, I should I should do it. Right oh yeah, we went through this before. I already posted those old photos. <laughs> it's dignified. But I am happy because because I actually have hair. I mean, I have, of course it's cut short, but I actually have hair. My both of my brothers are completely bald, and they're both younger you than I am. Then you got less hair than I did. did that. I'm the oldest one here, and I get the most hair of all of y'all. Yeah, it's it's real <laughs> thick, but. Normally, I let it grow out in the in the winter time. Oh, Man, with all the oh, white, yeah. it, it right like back. looks really bad when I grow it out. Dude, I got more hair on my back than you got on your head. Oh, probably. <laughs> yeah. For real. I had a chick braid it once. For real. TMI, dude. <laughs> this kind of gross, actually. This post is worthless without pics. <laughs> What's that? I don't. I don't want to see any pictures of your braided hair. Oh no, I didn't. That was way before pictures of cell phones. That was back in the day of the. Uh, what do you call it? Ones there. Uh, click and uh, you had to wave it. What the hell do you call those? Polaroids. Yeah, Polaroid. Oh yeah. <laughs> My son actually got one of those. They they started making that, that those again. Buddy, swinging his by. girlfriend bought him one for his birthday last year. It is Friday. Yeah, I can believe that, Mister Butram. You freaking ape. <laughs> Butram fucks apes. What the hell did I miss? <laughs> oh, here we here we go, man. <laughs> this, <laughs> this stream is done, Tom. You might as well just cap it right now. <laughs> I don't care. Oh, he it's hasn't like, cared it's in like forever. Like deja vu. If he cared, he would never let me on here. Yep, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> he would have added a questionnaire after the first stream. <laughs> Knowing my ass is not going um, to go three pages deep. I don't care. I'm starting to think I should actually like clean it up and start seeing if I can even make money off of YouTube at all. Start doing it. Did you well, see earlier? You, these streams here, you delete them. Do something for your channel, but these yeah. you can just have fun and delete them after. Well, the other thing I, I thought about doing is having like do these kinds of streams under a different channel. <laughs> well, like, like my quadcopter channel, I never expected to to monetize or do any of that. So it's I got you know music in the background of some of the fights. And that's I, a fact, TK. 
I think I don't don't quote me on it, but I think John was saying like just make it private, leave the video up. That way, you still get the view hours and all that sort of stuff instead of deleting it. But you can just make it private and still get advantages from it. I don't know, maybe. I think there was some issue with that or something. I was reading all about it. But. I don't have one stream up, and I've streamed more times than I can count. <laughs> well, I'm not a YouTuber, so I don't know. I don't I'm leave them because either. all mine are tasty beverage hangouts. Did you see what I was talking about on the uh, the streamers Facebook group, Tom? If if you want to get in on that, they have like a streamers group that oh, you can. Okay. Oh, I don't care about you time, though. Although, coming up in the new year, just so you guys know, we are going to have an official, probably weekly or bi-weekly, a skewed view 3D stream. we sit down with the boys. We're either designing or talking about stuff. and Bi-weekly, so you swing both ways, then. Uh, yeah, no, only once. And that was many years ago when I was in shape. And I got this belly. I can't reach it only anymore. Only once. You know? just... <laughs> Well, yeah, it was myself. I mean, I blew myself once. I threw my back out, you know, but I didn't have this belly then. So go Holy figure. Holy cow. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Yep. Yeah. 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 Sometimes, downhill fast. <laughs> sometimes I get done with some bullshit. I just talk. I'm like, what the hell did I just say? <laughs> hey, as long as I crack myself up, I don't care. Yeah. Well, so, you have a good time. Who gives a crap? Uh, so I is don't. unlist them the same as, as uh, making them private, Buntram? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's a, that sadly is true, TK. <laughs> What's that? I was at the bar the other day, and this chick come up, oh, you're so adorable. She, she come up, oh, take your glasses off. Your eyes are so gorgeous. And she's like... Are you gay? I was like, uh, no. Do you have a cock? <laughs> like, no, I don't, but thank you for asking because you never know nowadays. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I forgot all about that till just now. Well, what? That's so yeah. funny. Might as well. Yeah, it, it can't get it. Can't, you can't make it any worse, TK. Oh, yeah, you could. It's, it's, let's make it a challenge. No, let's not. What's the challenge? Challenge accepted. No, just silence. <laughs> <laughs> I always like to remember that show, How I Met Your Mother. Yes. Neil Patrick Harris played the perfect womanizer in that show. And anybody, anytime anybody said some kind of challenge, he's like, challenge accepted. I used to do that all the time. That's a that. bad habit. I know. How much trouble did that get you in? A lot. Right. Challenge accepted. I never said it. We just did it. I mean, we got kicked out of a hotel for swimming naked in a in a hotel pool once, <laughs> like in the lobby, like a fountain. It wasn't. It wasn't actually a pool. It was. Yeah. Two uh, two thirty two thirty in the morning, we're we're all walking down the street in the middle of like some some like business complex or something, and carrying golf clubs and our luggage, and go to another hotel, and we're like, yeah, can we all get a room? You know, they had to be wondering, like, how the hell do eight people just walk up? Just <laughs> they didn't get a cab or nothing. Yeah, <clears throat> give us a room. Wow. Yeah, I've yeah, I've not been back to Fort Worth since. <laughs> That's a damn shame when you got to totally not go back to a whole town. <laughs> Honestly, it would have been fine, except for there, there was a line dancing competition of some sort going on in the lobby. <laughs> and I, I think they didn't care for that. I guess. I don't know. Yeah. We were we were kind of young back then. <laughs> you know, it's, it just that just reminded me of some one of the funniest things I've ever seen. Years back, I, I was at uh, oh, what the hell is the name of the place now? I think it was the Red Barn. It was a country bar up in uh, Braden, Tucky, Bradenton. Everybody calls it Braden, Tucky. Anyhow, it was a country bar. So I went there with a buddy and a couple girls and never been there before. I'm, okay, well, it's a country bar. It's fine. Whatever. We walk in. First thing you see is about 20 people line dancing to the Beastie Boys. I'm like, are you freaking That's serious? That's weird, no isn't it? To Brooklyn. They're just, what the hell yeah. are you doing? <laughs> yeah, that was the weirdest thing I'd ever seen. 
Line I, dancing to the Beastie Boys. When I moved to Indiana, it was nothing to hear. Like you go to a bar and you would hear Garth Brooks. And then right after that, you'd hear like Chris Cross or something. <laughs> and I was like, you got to be shitting me. Like, the, like, it's so diverse. It isn't even funny. Oh, I like all kinds of music, but I just couldn't. Yeah, but it, mind it, it, it's no bizarre. No sleep Brooklyn. <laughs> See, I also got kicked out of a bar for breakdancing at a country western bar when everybody else was. Well, it wasn't really breakdancing. It was like causing a fight for my breakdance. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I took breakdance classes when I was in like sixth grade. Oh, really? I taught, I taught, I taught breakdance lessons. When That's I awesome. Was like, a little funny shit. Like I was like talking. 14 or something. Yeah. It was a way to make money. So. I've been here, Mr. Butter. I know you want to. No, he's, he's grade, freaking was, sick, man. School. He needs to get some sleep. Wow, is he? Well, go get some damn sleep. Don't say See you, Wang, man. Get, yeah, get some rest and take advantage. Hopefully, he, he probably doesn't have Monday off. Hopefully, he does. Yeah, after that loss, I'm sure you got Monday off now. <laughs> take, take a mite all and get a good night's sleep. He take works at Purdue. I, I think the school shut down for the whole damn week after that loss. Why would they lose a turkey? Oh, God, they lost to Auburn. I don't remember what the score was, but at like halftime, it was like 56 Dude, to 7 football. or something. I just figured uh -oh, football game. They just gave that coach a huge ass raise to try to keep him at Purdue, too. <laughs> Oh, it's the talk of the town here, being an idiot. Well, who cares? Are you serious? Do you see who's on the stream? You got the flu. Look at Tom. He looks like he's sick all the fucking time. Yeah. <laughs> oh my goodness, dude! I, I look like I look like I'm a decade oh, older God. than I really am. So yeah, I, I it can't be any worse. Come on. I'm like a young WC Fields and shit. I don't know. What the John hell? will try to sell you some phones if you jump in here. <laughs> well, TK, you can jump in here. Come on. You can do it. TK has to. I've never I've never actually been in a hangout with you, I don't believe, TK. I, uh, I can't remember. Maybe one time. If it was, it was very short, and then he left shortly after I came in. But he's not been in a stream in a long time. I'm not. I've not seen you in a long, in a stream in a long time. TK, come on. I don't think I've ever seen him. In Peer pressure. Everybody's doing it. Yeah, he used to jump in with Mike and Don every once in a while in the mornings. Wow. I only ah, jump in ah, he's himself. doing it. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> I'm going to kill the broadcast over there. I'll leave the, the hangout going, but I want to kill the broadcast to YouTube. There's still half an hour till the other stream. Yeah. Ain't going to hurt anything. Well, I don't I don't need, Like, nobody's watching us, are they? Yeah. We no, have nine. We have nine, nine watching. Nine it's not like, not like before yeah, where, we had, where, we where we had where we had four people watching and six people in the stream. <laughs> <laughs> don't, don't kill the stream, dude. I'll get over on my stream and stream if you're going to do that. Good night, Butchram. Get well, buddy. I don't know what to tell you on that. Just lots of pepto bismol. Flu? On a serious note, you got the flu run through the house there, Butchram? Some some kind of food poisoning, flu bug thing that keeps returning. I was actually thinking about uh, I hope you get well soon and it doesn't spread too far. Nice socks, dude. Aren't they? Actually, they are. They are actually. What is, what's that say on there? Um, Tesla. Oh, well, and I don't like them so much. <laughs> are they battery operate, battery warm socks? Is that the no, name? They're not even like the same company, Tesla. I know. Dude, I'm just socks, socks was the whole thing this they're year. They're wool, though, aren't they? Really no. cool, crazy they're socks. They're not even wool. Really? It's oh, crazy God. socks. They're half socks. They're my. They're my. When At least there wasn't a booty. These are my the slippers, needle. basically. They're like eight bucks for a pack of ten of them, ten pair. Wow, that's a good deal. Oh, food poison. Do sucks. they keep your feet warm? I got. Yeah, poison. they're perfect for the winter here. What was it McDonald's I about wear them for. three months ago? I actually wear them in the summer too. Is my regular socks? Good for half socks. You wear oh, yeah, boots. I just got the extra insulated thick hey, bottoms. Hey, 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 Those hey, are hey, nice socks. You wear boots a lot throughout the summer though, too, don't you? Guys. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Dude, you look all fucked up in flu. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> wow, straight out the gate. <laughs> welcome, welcome aboard, TK. <laughs> well, <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> Are, aren't you glad you joined now? <laughs> <laughs> well, I just want to get all the nervousness out yeah. the way. Yeah. Uh, oh, yeah, because he's been all fluey too, right? Oh, snap. What's he got going on there? The shield? What the That's hell? Hell? No, that was the Death Star. Am I right? No, I'm, my, oh, I'm not right. What is that? Oh, it's the moon. It's the moon. moon. It's the moon. It's the moon, man. The moon. Well, what scale? Taking off his screen. <laughs> yeah. Are is you it doing H that as a wall lamp, or are you going to complete it? No, it's a proper globe with the moon. Oh, it's oh, HO scale. Go. Okay. If R2 fucked the moon, their baby would look like this. <laughs> <laughs> it it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And this is printed at 150 percent. That yeah, is see, not... I, I don't even trust that model because how do they even know what the dark side of the moon looks like? <laughs> oh snap! Look at the scanner he's got back there. Was that a Christmas gift? No, that was just out of my own pocket. For Christmas? No. Nothing for Christmas for me. What, is what are smoking? you smoking? <laughs> right? <laughs> <laughs> you look like I'm vaping, but I've recognized some, some, yeah. some. It's medical. It's medical. Dude, that, that's like, <laughs> like uh, what was it, up in smoke. He's like, oh, oh, here you go. It's really good. He's like, that's a toothpick, man. No, no, it's really, no, that's a toothpick, man. <laughs> Uh, my chest is killing me at the moment. And, uh, so I'm making Have it. Have another uh, hit. <coughs> but yeah, that's what I've been working on for a while. That looked like a lot of pieces. Is that the first half is cut in half and then about six pieces, it looked like? So yeah. 12, uh, 12 per half? No, 64 parts on that one. Wow. Holy crap. Complete? Yeah. Or where are you at to date? No, complete. Once it's complete, it's 64 parts. So you're about 42 in or so? Yeah, all the rest are printed. It just needs putting together. I was supposed to do it, but I got the flu. So I've not really felt like doing it. And, what, are you, uh, what are you using to put it together with? Um, super glue. And what is it? Super glue? Super glue and baking powder. And baking soda. Right, yeah. uh, right on. I right. use that all the time, dude. It's a quick structural bond. And you, and what I'm using to actually cover it is uh, I tried XTC, resin, you know, that's a uh, 3D resin, you know, but um, well, done, Greg, on, let me see if I can find XTC, it. you threw it on the half. I did it on a test piece and then I stopped using the stuff. Really? Yeah. You didn't like, like it? No, you, I, were you, trying, you were trying to use it to, to assemble it as opposed to finish it? No, 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 no. That's the test piece. That I did. That's just two parts. But it okay. lays on too thick and you, you're limited to your work time because in the size of the globe. You know you can cut that with acetone. Yeah, but I just use DLT resin. You'll get some longer work time and it'll thin it out. I don't need that. I just use DLP resin. I can use it for as long as I want and then I can cure it with the UV lamp. Bang, done. Yeah. UV yeah, resin, I got you. and it, you know, everyone says like, "Yeah, but that's expensive, Mark." And it's like, well, "No." So you're yeah, actually buying the the DLP or the SOA resin, well, got, and you're, um, you're using that to coat it. Yeah, well, I've got resin printers, you see, so I might as well. Yeah, well, actually, I'm thinking because I have two bottles of resin I bought like two months ago on a on a chance it, to something that didn't work out, and they're it, just sitting. It, it's worth using for for coating your prints. Use a brush, don't use a sponge. And you can get some really nice detail on that. And plus, there's no limits to your work time. And when you're happy... Hey, I live in Florida, so, I mean, sunlight's no problem. Just put yeah. it outside. Yeah, exactly. When you're ready with it and you're happy with it, you just stick it outside. Oh, really? Oh, I'm so going to try that. Thank you very much. And it smooths FDM prints out really nice. What's your first name, TK? Mark. Mark? I'll remember that. Uh Fuck you too, TK. <laughs> <laughs> Show him. Oh. Sorry, I didn't realize. I'm still getting used to these things. That's all right. It's all good. <laughs> Don't mind me. I'm a likable asshole. 
Usually. Just out of curiosity, why, why are you wearing shades? Do you have problems with your eyes? Uh, I'm actually photosensitive, and that That's is a why. very bright light. That's why I was, yeah. what I was thinking. Because I, yeah, I get migraines are hereditary in my family, and that can set it off. I'd rather not have yeah, one. Yeah. In other words, he's half drunk, and it just drives him nuts to stare at a light. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, I wear these no matter where, inside or out. Mm -hmm. Duck can testify to that. Always have them. But I need to make a stand next for the moon. If I did it at 200%, I wouldn't be able to get out of the door. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say that thing. What did you say that was? 150? Yeah, just 150%. And Obviously, looking at the size, of that, that was probably a good, what's that, 20 inches wide? Exactly. By the time you put it together? 20 inches. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's probably a 2.6 door. So what what size out, better are you printing it on? Uh, any cubic i3 mega. Which is? I think it's about 220 by 220. Ah, uh, okay. It's only a small bed. I wouldn't mind getting over the chair on, though, and printing it on that. Yeah, I think that's an 8.5 by 8.5. Yeah, I mean, I have done the model so you can just print out in quarters or eighths or even a half, and it should print without support. None yeah, of yeah. The support. That thing is so big, you and Duck climb up inside there as a present. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't like it. Those. Oh, somebody else. I don't want to hear. Oh, my phone's ringing. It's from Fort Lauderdale, so I know it's my old boss, and I just don't want to deal with it. <laughs> and I'm glad that we're not any of those somebody else's you didn't want to hear middle of the night and i'm just not gonna do it yeah calling you from warm ass wait, weather wait, in florida wait, wait, wait. the yeah. last time we streamed your boss was calling from florida to yep. get you to do something yeah. or other that you didn't want to do that you were complaining you had nothing to do so yep. i don't know dude no but he just wants me to do trivia <laughs> shit. does it pay again i asked you this no, last time I just did. are it you getting paid pay. no well then yeah fuck if that. you're not getting paid then no if you're getting paid you better spread but it. if he also wants to talk <laughs> about it for an hour and still not get paid, hell no. <laughs> hell no. It That's why there's voicemail and email. Greg, what are you printing right now, buddy? Stop calling. What's everybody else printing? I am printing um, wall mounts for this Oculus, <laughs> this damn Oculus Rift. Oh, I had don't 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 ever buy one for your kids. So far, this thing has cost me about seven hundred dollars. Dude, I can't do the VR again with the migraines and the. Uh, no, the, the V that. the VR was like it was like three hundred and sixty dollars, and then it was another sixty for another sensor, and then um, my son punched the TV like three times. He <laughs> he busted his thumb. We had to take him to the emergency room and have it x-rayed. That was $300. Why was he, yeah, no, oh, he, was he uh, doing a VR thing? Yeah. <laughs> He's, I changed, yeah, just don't I melted, get one. I melted the nozzle on the Mini Delta with the uh, glow-in-the-dark filament. And so I just changed the nozzle. I put a, a 3.5 nozzle on there. And this, this is probably not even picking it up, but this this is so fine. 3.5 nozzle. Yeah, it's a 3.5 instead of a 4 or 0.35. I'm sorry. Whatever. Fuck, you know what I mean. Shut up. No, yeah. I mean, <laughs> why not just go with a 0.3 or a 0.2? Like, I've never even heard because of a 0.35 nozzle. I grabbed out the bag that wasn't 0.5 and 0.8. <laughs> okay. I had a bag of nozzles, and they were all odd sizes. That was the closest to four. Yeah, I didn't even know they made half sizes. Yeah. Oh, yeah, they do. Apparently, I got, like, two other different half sizes in there. I just broke the... Uh, really uh, nice. What is that? The no, it's out of focus. Market. Back it up a little. Yeah. There you go. Looks like a cookie. Oh, it's nice. a tank. Actually, that. Oh, those oh. are the tanks you were designing. Snap. But that was printed with a 0.2. Oh, Jason, check that out. Oh, okay. I got it. Now I got to show my print. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, my God. That was going into size wars. <laughs> oh, if we're going to do that, let's just flip them on the table. I win. <laughs> I am well proportioned. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> All right, don't. Oh, I still can't believe our Ender 3 Pro. I waited. It's two and a half weeks late. It gets here. I put it together. Nothing. Doesn't even turn on. No lights. No damn nothing. I am this, so. This is probably not going to focus. So oh, that. No. Back your printed. hand behind it. Put your hand behind it. Back. That was there you that go. was printed with a point four nozzle. It's a little something blowing on a pipe in a bag. Yep, a little dwarf. It's a twenty eight millimeter Dungeons Dragon Dragons miniature. Yeah, All right. Having sex and something. this little guy here also. <coughs> I would much rather do this with resin because these things took like four hours to print. Yeah, was that printed at 0 0.5 layer height? Uh, 0 0.08 layer height. Using that Cura profile where you do the trick where you do like um, 990 point, point 0.4 nozzle. Just FDM on my, on my Ender out. 2. Where, where's his axe? Is At like, come out? Oh, I haven't put, I haven't done the axe yet. Oh, so you, you're familiar with the model? Yeah, I haven't done the base or the axe yet. Uh, that was just like no, my test no, print to actually I, see if it worked. I can tell it's going to have an axe in its hands. I'm wondering where it's at. I haven't printed the damn axe yet. Once I got that to print, I'm like, oh, okay, this works. So then I started doing other miniatures. You got to do it separately? The axe you did, yeah. Oh, that Yeah, because you, you got to peel supporters. supports out like crazy. Yeah, it's FDM printing. It's not, it's not resin printing. But the fact that you can get that kind of resolution out of an FDM printer at a, at a 0.4 nozzle is oh, yeah. pretty phenomenal. I mean, I was, I'm pretty blown away. There's a guy that's got a whole YouTube channel out so good. Does I think I'm FDM printing of miniatures and stuff. Yeah, it's that uh, Danny, the the DM printing nerd or something. I don't Dungeon Master printing nerd or something. That's where I ended up oh, getting the profile and the idea from. Yeah, a, it's all top layer or all bottom layer or whatever. Yeah, you do like 999 top layers or something like yeah. that, and it does a really good job. Because I tried it through Simplify 3D, and, and you just can't get it to work. It just doesn't want to function the same way. I don't know what Cura does differently that, that Simplify 3D does. but What's up, people flipping on lights behind Duck? Be right back. Let's make some proof. How's your, how's your thumb doing? Left front on, so you're even keel. Nice. Wow. I like it. What's he got? Boo boo. What's that? A mini Mac? Yeah, it's, he slammed his thumb. Show show him your thumb. Put it put it up on What's camera. That? I want to see the boo boo. Get 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 your oh, hand behind yeah. it so it focuses That's really cool. good. Awesome, dude. Yeah. Well, that is a hell of a multicolored name. <laughs> How long did that take to post? <laughs> Took about two seconds to do with a virtual reality. <laughs> Why you let your daddy hit you like that? <laughs> hey. Blink twice if you need help. Yeah. I <laughs> Just let us know. As his dad starts blinking. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Yeah, we know you need help. It's just a different kind of help. Yeah, I'm going to need to upgrade my system before I can get the VR. Did you really just take that outside? Did you just bust up? Wow. Oh, Come here. Here. Let's show the camera what you were just doing. I was Up wondering what all the country. No, check this out. No, come here. Come here. Let's see. Oh, you man. <laughs> Dude, you know what he just did? Why didn't you ask me, son? Wow. Oh, my gosh. He just, So he just took one of our knives, and he went outside with the rubber mallet, and I bought, like, two coconuts the other day. <laughs> so he's on the front porch <laughs> smashing a knife and a rubber mallet. <laughs> nice. I was too busy in the stream to realize what is that banging noise until he come inside <laughs> with this dripping coconut, this cracked knife, and this oh, rubber mallet. I forgot to show you, Tom. I got my little drones, man. They work awesome. Uh, yep, they, they got a kick out of them. Ten bucks a pop off of a uh, Banggood or something. And yeah. Oh, you didn't print it. Maybe a different brand name, but they're all the same. Yeah. Which one For is that? Bucks, not not right I have no idea, dude. I don't what know if you that? can tell from looking at it or or not. I really. What's it say on the hood? I can't really read it. It's too blurry. Uh, E zero one zero. Oh yeah, it's just exactly the same thing I got. Mine's oh, is it okay? Is that like some kind of e cult shit? Zero. Not, no, that's Celtic artwork. 
<laughs> oh, oh, let me see now. Let me see. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, okay. That's a piece of bark. He carved it. Yeah, yeah, Celtic knot in there. Yeah, it's 20 minutes away there, Walter. You can hang out with us. Oh, no, no. He, it grew that way. They grow that way in Scotland. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> I could not see it because no one would shut up. TK, put the bark back up and say something. Seriously, that's how the trees grow. Yeah. Come on. <laughs> there you go. That is pretty cool. How long did that take? Not long. Did you use power tools or hand tools? Hand tools. Only hand tools. Wow. wow. There you go, Tom. Wow. And, that is um, very impressive. To do. Lots of chisels and mallets. And let me well, one chisel and mallet, really. Just lots of minutes. I love that G-code my buddy John at Graybeard 3D gave me. This thing hits 21 points of contact for the bed level. That's freaking awesome. And this is one of the balls that I carved on the wood lathe. That's oh, he wins. Kelsey you Carl did that by that. hand, too? No, that was done on the wood lathe, but with oh, hand. With the hand. Nice. How the hell did you color it? You didn't color it. Yeah. Anyway. Anchor no, I, I, I hand painted that. Wow. I like it. That is nice. How did you, how did you get the pattern to completely line up over the 360? Did you have to do it like on the computer beforehand or something? No, there there is a. It took me ages to sort out, and they did this because a lot of the Celtic artwork they don't you know it's lost over time. So you get yeah. the designs, and you've got to work it backwards. And what they used to do is um, you'd have a, a circle of cone, right? You know, all the way for, you know like for 360 then you slice one of them out and this pattern is exactly seven it repeats every seven i got you okay just twist the, the cone around so it matches up so it's seven, yeah. seven all the way around then you put the basics down and then you just go around it I saw, I saw a guy turning the vase on um out of out of like a giant ass log it was actually kind of scary to see him doing it hey, on youtube it, today but he did something similar where he he divided it up into certain sections and then they made a pattern in that section and yeah. out of paper and then like folded it in half and then ended up working that pattern all the way across so that it lined up by the time he got all the way around yeah i mean once you know the basics of celtic artwork you know a lot of people are sort of like no i could never do that but you know, i mean i can get people drawing the basics within five minutes and they're just blown away by how easy it is yeah is it real easy? Throw your hood up a second, TK. Oh, man, you look See, like a Jedi. Is Use the Force. He looks like a Jedi. That is the secret. <laughs> More like the Unabomber. I wear, hoodie, I, wear hoodies a lot. I wear hoodies a lot, and everybody asks me, why do you always wear hoodies? And I'm like, because I'm a Jedi. <laughs> I'm a Jedi. No, you're the Unabomber. For me, it's a scoffer. <laughs> I was going to say, duck Either one. I mean, like the Unabomber. <laughs> I think the Unabomber was a Jedi, too. He just turned to the dark side. He was a Sith. Yeah, okay. Sure. Kind of looks like story. a Sith. We're sticking with it. Did you see that um, gangster that got sent down by a judge with 69 written across? Because it's a gang number, isn't it? 69. But he had it right across. No, the, the gang number's not 69 that I yeah. know of. If not, I've been I'm part like, of that gang for like 30 years. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Like, he's going to be I, I am hardcore member. <laughs> <laughs> I got jumped in like 32 years ago. I never looked back. <laughs> 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 Oh my God! Damn. <laughs> oh, oh! It's Walt I know. Here. You know, I really, if, if you're gonna get a tattoo, just go balls out and get it right on your forehead. That's the best place <laughs> to get one. <laughs> the people get them on their eyelids and their lip and the oh. neck. For here, like neck tattoos are guaranteed prison. I mean. Anybody who's like half the people you I see on the news, when I was they kid, all have neck tattoos. Cross. I did it. I did it with ballpoint ink from an actual pen, like a dumbass. It's amazing I didn't kill myself doing that. I went over it with Indian ink when I was like seventeen because I was real cool then. <laughs> I wanted to be a tattoo artist when I was a kid, but the apprenticeship cost too much. They wanted like two grand just to freaking become an apprentice and go through schooling and stuff like that. And I was like, screw that. Just buy. Gun and get on with it. 
Yeah, tattoos aren't really a thrill to me. I've always wanted one. I just can't figure out what I would want to get and where I would put it. You got to figure out a way to modify a 3D printer to be a tattoo machine. Uh, you know, you could probably do it. Yeah, it's probably good. Actually. Throw a, whatever body part in there and <laughs> <laughs> they modify it for everything else. Why not? Wow. If it's someone you don't like, you just sit the depth of freaking puncture a little deep. <laughs> John, is that Ken? <laughs> yeah. Is that all quiet? Yeah, it's Ken. Just sitting I there. Just look. What's up, Ken? He's all quiet. Uh, he don't I hear don't he, he have his headphones. John is the cat. To something else. The house. <laughs> I just noticed that every once in a while you hear John laugh. That's about it. And I know no, it's Ken. Ken that's laughing. Is it Ken that's laughing? <laughs> well, Ken, uh, he he laugh occasionally too. <laughs> awesome setup. But I uh, I got him the noise cancellation headphone for Christmas, so he don't hear anything now. Oh, we actually have some people actually coming in now. Dude, Charlie I Bowen, whatever that. maker. What do I have? Oh, yeah, Minnesota maker's Greg. That's whatever maker, not Minnesota maker. Although Minnesota maker was in earlier, I think. No, oh. Minnesota maker's Greg. Never mind. I'm looking at. I'm watching the wrong stream. I'm not even watching ours. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Walter's jumping You're, back and forth. Oh, that's <laughs> awesome. Yeah, I don't care about you guys. I'm watching somebody else. <laughs> well, I didn't think the other team even started until 10. No, they don't. They, but people start jumping in chat early. I'm here for the train wreck. <laughs> oh, it's coming, baby. Yeah. I'll leave that. No, nah, because I'm going to go over and watch the Friday night hangout in a bit. Right. In more minutes. 12 minutes. You know how many times I've watched that thing and not really watched it because we were too busy talking in a hangout or in Discord or something else and <laughs> missed the whole thing? That's what we should do is fire up a Discord channel and sit there and babble about those guys on the hangout. <laughs> Have our own little hangout while watching the hangout. Yeah. Make fun of them. Oh, look at his hair. <laughs> I thought that it's another channel. I think Walter said he was going to be in the Hangout tonight. Uh, he may be, because they were talking about um, some of the up-and-comers and new channels and stuff as well. It's like a recap of 2018. Yeah. Uh, so I should be there. <laughs> okay, yeah, Matt just sent me a thing. Yeah. He said, oh, it's only eight questions. <laughs> Dude, it was like four pages deep. What do you want me to say? I didn't say it was many questions. It just, I had to keep clicking and clicking. <laughs> I never even saw I've never freaking even This is how you get your info in the description. Also, how you get added to the calendar, Babel RSVP, to get the night stream. Sorry. So, way. Somehow I got a notification. I filled the form out without any issues. So basically, show them that you're a big, dumb old ass holding us up. I was in the Friday night 3D printing hangout Facebook group, and somehow I got another notification for the same group, and I thought, oh, I must have got out of it. So I hit to join, and then I realized, no, it was for the streamers group. And I put in the security question, I don't really want to join this. I'm not a streamer. Sorry. I'm just trying to get rid of the notification that keeps popping up. And they ended up approving me, so now I'm in the streamer. <laughs> and I'm like... Nice. <laughs> so somebody now. Like, I'm not really a streamer, dudes. I don't. All really right. Let's answer it. the question, shall we? <coughs> not that it really matters. My phone is about to die. The wizard is about to die. Valkyrie is about to die. That's that's the whole Everybody reason I made that that's the whole reason I made that arcade four players so that I could, I could play Gauntlet on it. Right. Oh, that's Gauntlet. the only reason. Awesome. Oh, the one behind you. Yeah, that's why I made it four player. I so wish they would remake a lot of the old PCs and stuff because we had some brilliant games in them days. They, they just need a remake. 
I've got an emulator with over 10,000 games, all the ones we grew up with, all the arcades and stuff. The problem is it takes more time trying to find a game you want to play than actually playing it. Yeah. Because you're like, oh, I remember that. Oh, wait, I remember that. Oh, shit, I remember that. It's like I've got over 16 gigs of Amiga games. And work with a couple of games companies. And it's the only way I could actually find stuff that I worked on. Uh oh, that's not good. Okay. I'm printing a midair on my flex for some reason. Let's okay. cancel that. Why the hell is my calendar flip up? Wow. Oh, that's why they got all wadded up in there. That's a bit of a problem, wouldn't you say? Yep. Ooh. We're not high enough yet? No, it's going to be high enough. That's what I get for pushing the limit and going to 30 millimeters a second instead of 20. I think when it corrected my uh, base, when I put it to Oh, you're printing flexible? It my yeah. On the ender. It's a Bowden, so there's that. I've printed tent towers with it before at 30 millimeters a second, but I think, <laughs> I think the retractions, because I have three different parts printing at once on the plate, I think it's screwing it up. So we'll drop to 20. Uh, the cough of death. Yeah. <clears throat> I don't even know if this is going to work, to be honest. I had a shot of this the other day. Man, man, flu. man flu. Yeah, it's got a thousand milligrams of vitamin C and zinc. And a thousand? Some... You need like 5,000 grams of vitamin C a day to kill that shit. Three days yeah. done. You need like 190 proof is what you need. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I need your yeah. idea. <laughs> And just snort it, and then it'll solve all your problems. Pollute your body so bad, no germ wants to live there. Yeah. Reminds me, I need to get some more of that. Oh, oh my goodness. 99.9%. .9%. What are you getting this 99.9%? .9 well, IPA. Oh, okay. I'm like, because oh, that stuff's not, oh. not even, that's like. That's hardcore, TK. Even I wouldn't drink that. <laughs> I'm going to say, this is like 93 proof, and I think this is 59%. So, you know. A little different. Okay, also. Oh, crap. Uh oh. Hang on. Your son's got a controller. Ooh, five minutes. There's 12 people waiting at the auto stream. <coughs> and they've got one like already. Can't repair it. What did it do? Did oh, it actually on. remove the text? What, your mouth what is it good? Oh, no, it's there. <coughs> have you tried any of that virtual sculpting yet? No, I have not. I've, I've talked with him about it, and I've seen some YouTube videos on it. Yeah, it looks fun. It's something I definitely want to try. It's a trip, man, doing it. I mean, it, you know, it still looks very video gamey, but you're like, it's like you're trying. You're submersed in the video game thing. You yeah. know what I mean? It's pretty freaking cool. Tron was cool. Now, Tron would Back make... You'd think they would have brought Tron out for VR instantly. It would, should have been the first game that ever came out with it. Yeah. No, see it nowhere. What are you doing to me here? Jason, where's my other phone? <coughs> was that it? Let's do this. Oh, man. What's that? Oh, he's everywhere. Michelangelo. I can't see it. Connect. 
Very hey, lovely. Jason. No, it's something I do want to try. Uh, there's some escape room games that my wife and I want to try doing. Mm. He's been doing... Uh, what's the game you've been playing? No, the Bastion Gladiator game. Gorn. You're like a gladiator. That's how he busted his thumb and hit the TV and knocked shit off his desk and everything else. <laughs> like the first, the first day, he was like, jump right into it. Like, his mom and I did the tutorial. You know, it's a real simple little thing that, you know, it's cutesy thing kind of thing where you grab stuff and all sort of junk and everything and play around with it. He, he didn't even do that. He just jumped straight into the freaking gladiator game and started bashing everything in the house in the process. <laughs> oh, you might don't be they, able to. Don't they tell you that you have to play it in the oh, empty you're room? Getting, yeah, well, <laughs> that's the first thing I said. I, you know, where are you going to put this thing? So, Got more space there than you have in mind. <laughs> make sure you shrink your guardian so it's down a little bit. I think you could put my entire flat in that room. I'm printing sensors or uh, sensor holders now, so we can mount them up on the walls. <coughs> sensor holders. <coughs> Yeah, it's got three sensors that you pick everything up, and right now they're just on like little microphone stands. But you, they got wall mounts that I'm printing now that you can hang them up on the walls. I think I'm gonna kill this and go over to the 3D Friday night printing hangouty weirdo community. All right, quitter. <laughs> oh, actually, you're you're in the streamer group, so we could invade the streamer group with uh, all the non-streamer. Who, Tom? No, you, you're in the streamer groups. That means that you get access to that uh, hangout. Oh, room. No, no, I'm not jumping in there. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I make a fool of myself enough here. I don't need to do that there. <clears throat> Are they starting yet? I don't hear them. No, it doesn't look like it. Minutes and oh, yeah, just died about five minutes ago. It's uh, 10 o'clock, almost another minute. <sighs> oh, somebody says almost starting. Almost. <laughs> Almost, but no cupid all. It's 10 o'clock. It's now 10 o'clock. My computer just told me so. 3 a.m. for me. I wonder if I should no, redo that. My computer's always right. When it says it's 10 o'clock, it's 10 o'clock. I don't care what you say. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Robbie, let me show you this code. Ow. <laughs> At the sound of the tone, the time will be exactly...